Hey, this is Ross Payton with Rollplaying Bubble Radio. Uh, today we're going to be playing Unknown Armies. Uh, the name of the scenario will be uh, is a bit of a spoiler, so we're going to keep that a secret uh, until the towards the end. Uh, and uh, but we have that's, three that's terrible here. marketing, Ross. <laughs> don't worry. Well, they'll be... know what it's called. We just don't yeah. know what it's called. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. at home know. We don't know, yeah. but you know. Right. Exactly. All right. There we go. So uh, we have three players today. Uh, we have Shane Ivy of Arc Dream Publishing. Uh, and... Hi, this is Shane Ivy of Arc Dream Publishing. <laughs> and uh, we also have uh, RPPR's most innovative GM, Bridget, uh, playing uh, a rare treat uh, for the audience. And of course, Burke. Hi. <laughs> and uh, so let's go ahead and introduce characters. Uh, Shane, do you want to go first? Sure. Uh, I'm playing. Elias Edison, who's, uh, are, are our characters all kind of in their 20s, or what did you have in mind? Um, definitely, like, full-time adult, like, you, if you're going to school, it'd be grad school, but, like, yeah, at least mid-20s could be later. Maybe so. around 30 or something like that. Still yeah. fairly young, but not, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, not kids. Sure. Okay, so, uh, so Elias Edison is, uh, is my character. Uh, I think we're, all of our characters are kind of old friends, but mm -hmm. he's, uh, but we're all, it looks like from the sheets that we're all also kind of basket cases. So, um, yeah, weird. But, uh, at all. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. I'm an outstanding Eli member of society in the gig economy. I mean, that's me judging, not Elias. He doesn't judge. <laughs> Um, but, uh, but yeah, Elias is pretty ordinary looking, but distracted. Uh, he's, he's, he's increasingly as the years go by, um, uh, more and more disconnected from kind of ordinary, the ordinary world and its responsibilities. Uh, he's often homeless. He started, he was an orphan growing up and bounced around foster homes and got in a good bit of trouble and wound up in jail back and forth off and on. And he's kind of had this background in life that, that in most circumstances you would interpret it as this is a dude that's a drug addict and or drug dealer. Um, but he's not, he's, um, he's uh, interested and obsessed with, uh, weirder things than that. And that's what keeps him kind of, uh, kind of broken by normal standards. Okay. Um, We'll say for now, uh, Elias has been fortunate enough to get a cheap apartment, so he's not homeless currently, but he doesn't know how long that's going to last. Um, uh, but yeah, and uh, next up we it, have... It, it would make more sense if he's uh, crashing on somebody else's Okay, yeah, sofa. that's fair. Uh, yeah, we'll say he's crashing at, actually at Stephanie's house. Um, Stephanie okay. uh, is a mutual friend you all have. Um uh, she and her brother uh, Paul are both good friends, and yeah, you've known all uh, each other for years. Um, and except Bridget. Uh, hi, everybody. It's me, Bridget. My pronouns are she, her. I'm going to be playing Claire Morin. Her at is Sticky Paws on Twitter. She is a veteran furry porn artist and social media expert. Uh, which is how she funds herself um, because she just can't fit into normal society. Mm -hmm. She had a very rough upbringing that leaves her unable to connect with others. And so she very carefully curates and controls her life through her Twitter handle. Okay. Um, yeah, but she pays her bills and uh, is an upstanding citizen otherwise. Uh, so, yeah. Sure. Uh, <laughs> very good. Uh, and finally, we have Burke. Hey, I am Burke. I am playing Alan Cantor. He is an extremely untalented amateur filmmaker who uh, ran off to try to live a life in movies. Uh, failed Were miserably. we supposed to make characters who are Ross? Because I didn't get the memo. <laughs> Ross is a professional untalented filmmaker. Um <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, so ran off, failed miserably, came back home to Kansas City, where he just bartends and tries to exist. But the dream never dies. He never dies. I mean, with uh, the internet now, you can, you know, he's maybe trying to retool. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, to become a YouTuber. You know, they asked me if I wanted to do films. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you can fail to get in front of more people than ever. 
That's yeah. right. YouTube uh, offers a lot of options. Yeah. <laughs> Twitch partner. <laughs> <laughs> so um, all of you are friends uh, with Paul uh, and Stephanie Miller, uh, their brother and sister. Um, and you've all, you're all going over to Stephanie's house or already there uh, to watch the latest WrestleMania, which Stephanie has paid for. Uh, oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Stephanie, uh, both uh, the Miller siblings uh, work for the city government. Uh, Stephanie works in the DMV. And uh, Paul works for animal control. Um, and uh, as you're all there, um, you're waiting for Paul to show up. I mean, WrestleMania has uh, already started. He is running late. Um, but otherwise, things are just kind of uh chilling out so um what do you uh i'll just go what are you all doing uh just kind of talking or what so uh, is, the, is the mania and wrestling already happening yeah just they're, they're it just started like 10 minutes ago so i mean uh, they're, they're just building up you know or, i'm just waiting for becky's match That's yeah i'm in gross because i'm hoping that becky two belts holds on to her titles <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah, the commentators are hyping up the 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 obliga- the, the, the Becky match. That's going to be uh, mm-hmm. later on. They, they they're not going to open with that, of course. Um, they got to build up for that. Um, mm-hmm. Stephanie's quite uh, excited about as well. She has a uh, she even brought a twelve uh, pack of uh, Bud Light uh, for everyone to share. Um, and there's some chips uh, and dip and that kind of thing. Um, Whenever Rousey comes out, I'm just going to mutter under my breath. I hope she murders that turf. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um, so things are going pretty well. Um, and as you're all uh, watching, um, you all hear a car like scream and just like you hear um, uh, a truck come in. Uh, coming in hot essentially like you could hear the tires squealing uh as it uh comes to a, a erupt an abrupt halt um so yeah uh I'm, I'm not i'm probably not paying attention to that or noticing it right <laughs> yet because mm-hmm. i mean i'm i think i think uh elias is kind of engrossed with the show i mean not for the wrestling part but if anybody, whenever and people probably have learned not to ask him about this kind of thing, but if anybody did ask him what he's what he's interested in on the show, it's going to be about the, um, you know, he's not at all interested in the specifics of storyline or character or, or acting or performance or anything. It's more about um, looking at the patterns in behavior and the narratives and and uh, you know and what they uh, what those what those mean for what they're communicating to, uh, you know, to, to the audience and mm-hmm. how the, how the, how, the, how those patterns shape our perceptions of reality. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the, his whole, uh, Devin, uh, uh, altering reality <laughs> through, uh, the patterns of, uh, the secret patterns on WrestleMania is a topic you've probably all heard about before. <laughs> ad nauseum. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. I probably sure. just think, Paul's really uh, worried about being late. Um, yeah, so uh, you hear... Uh, I'm grabbing my knife, because that was a loud noise. All right. <laughs> You're so dramatic. Uh, okay. No, I don't tell you I'm grabbing my knife. You don't oh. notice I'm grabbing my knife, but I'm grabbing my knife because it was a loud noise. But what All kind right. of knife is that? It's, uh, it's one of those little quick release ones. It's just big enough to inflict serious damage, but not so mm-hmm. big that it's uh, against a lot of carry yet. So is that like in a pocket or something? Or what does yes. grabbing your knife look like? Just yes. suddenly reaching just, into your pocket. No, 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 no. It's just okay. I cross my arms, which gotcha. is normal for me anyway, because I don't seem to be very social. Okay. Uh, but I know where my knife is. Yeah, right. okay. Uh, so Stemney goes to the window and sees, oh, Paul's here. Oh, uh, And she uh, goes to the door and opens it, opens it for him, uh, and he comes in uh, and uh, uh, Clearly looking a little agitated. Well, very agitated. It's like, oh, God. Mm. Um, he's waving his hand in front of his face. Um, here, I need to... Uh, uh, he goes to the kitchen. Uh, you hear the water turn on. He starts splashing it. Ugh. Mm. God, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know uh, what happened today. I, I, I must have hit a skunk or something. Um, Stephanie, you go, like, 
is what what are you talking about there's uh, like you don't smell it and she's like no um no he's like oh god it's oh the set ah so he's highly agitated uh ranting about something like some sort of uh, uh smell that he is uh very upset by and uh but none of you smell anything unusual uh stephanie mm. certainly doesn't um so he uh is spends uh the next couple of minutes in the kitchen uh trying to wash his face um try and get the smell out um but he eventually goes um asks stephanie uh if he ha- if she has any of his old clothes here uh uh from the last time you moved and she does so he goes to change um Stephanie uh, comes back while he's changing. He's like, boy, he's really, I don't know what's going on. He, did, did, do any of you smell anything? No. Yeah. So you continue watching and he comes back and he's like, I guess it's gone a little bit for now. Ugh, I just, I don't know what happened. I just, uh, do you see anything that. on your truck? Um, no, like just ask him well, if he thinks he hit something, you know, um, well, let me go. Well, I didn't see anything. Um, maybe I missed something. Uh, uh, well, are, aren't you uh, recording this, uh, Steph? Can we? Can 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 you pause it? And she's like, well, yeah. Um, come on, uh, help me look at it. Uh, and uh, we 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 can. Uh, uh, I, I I just want to make sure I'm not going crazy because I mean, none of you smell this, right? None of you smell anything weird, right? No. Okay. So. Um, he goes outside uh, to look at his truck. Uh, Stephanie goes with him. Uh, hey, did she pa- did she pause the TV? Yeah, yeah, she pauses it. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> what's, uh, the, what's going on? Uh, Elias, we're we're looking to see if uh, something hit Paul's truck. Right. Well, sorry, this is a filler match anyway. I'll go out front with him. <laughs> yeah, uh, it has it hasn't started. Fine. Yeah. All right, I'll go out. All right. Uh, Claire, are you going? Yeah, I'm. I'm following everyone else. Okay. Uh, so all of you uh go outside, and uh, it's a spring night, so a bit cool, but not uh uh too bad. And the the uh, sun's still up, or is it after sunset? It's after sunset. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, you see the truck. And uh, it seems all of you start looking. Uh, everyone can give me a... What is it? Uh, notice. Mm-hmm. So that is... Uh, we do a... Uh, so yeah, again, the base mechanic is roll under. Uh, doubles are crit successes or crit failures. Uh, one is always a crit success. Okay. Uh, uh, nothing looks weird to me. Okay. Six out of forty-five. All mm-hmm. right. I succeeded. All right. Um, yeah, it does look fine. In fact, it looks uh, almost pristine. He must have washed it recently. Um, it. Uh, but as you're all watching it, um, you think you almost hear something, but it, it's quite. It's a bit outside your. It's, it's a sound, but you don't know quite what it is. But then, um, there's a, uh, then it's followed by the headlights just smashing apart. And then the front, uh, right side of the hood just crumples. Uh, the, then the, a second, la- a split second later, the windshield, uh, shatters, uh, and, uh, glass flies everywhere. So, this is unnatural. Uh, I'll say it's an unnatural six uh, because a car just fucking, well, it didn't explode, but uh, smashed apart by an invisible force. Uh, so who has unnatural at uh, less than six notches? Me. Five. Okay. Uh, so you defend with knowledge to so make a knowledge check. Okay. Nope. Uh, ooh, failed that. Okay. Uh, I don't fail as hard as the rest of you, but we do all fail. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, this is extremely uh, 
bad. Uh, this is impossible. You've never seen anything like it. Uh, you didn't think something like this could happen. And yeah, so. Um, and as a professional free porn artist, I've seen everything. <laughs> well, you <laughs> thought you had until this. Uh, so, so do I, we mark a failure now on our? You do. You do mark a failed notch. Um, and let's see here. That means that I'm now stronger than the average poltergeist. Yeah, that's right. And I'm just uh, sad I didn't record it. It would have been a great <laughs> cut in. Uh, so you have three reactions: panic, paralysis, or frenzy. Um, frenzy probably. Uh, well, I guess I could be you just freaking out and yelling like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Panic mm-hmm. is obvious. Uh, run back inside. Paralysis is pretty obvious. So um, how do each of you react? Paralysis. paralysis. So uh, yeah. I, I have, I have, a, I have a, a rules question for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, when you invoke your obsession, mm-hmm. you can flip-flop the, the role. And yep. I remember right that the that the you can do that any time, like at any amount of times in the session for uh, sessions. For a is skill that right? check, yeah, for a skill check. Now, uh, if you're trying to use it for yours, uh, attuned to the language of clouds. Um, now, the thing and obsession is, is learning the s- secrets of the right. Of the, so you can use that to figure out what the hell that. went on, but right, you can't okay. use it to defend against it because it'd have to have a feature uh, defends uh, for a natural. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um, so if you look like on page, uh, as an example, there are some identities that provide that in the examples. <laughs> yeah. Um, Vague defense, specific defense, et cetera. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Uh, also, yeah. like, uh, for, also on page 49, for example, Blues Musician feature resist challenges to helplessness. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you, you, you ha- for each identity, you pick specific features. And so you'd have to have a. Specific- How does Blues Magician reduce. You know what? Let's just continue. <laughs> uh, no, they're used to helplessness, like not getting paid or, you know, being a blues musician in 2019. Uh, I'd assume they, they imagine have... being a blues musician in 2019 is literally a feature of their class. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so they know a lot about helplessness. Yes, um, I know. Jazz sucks. <laughs> anyway. It's entirely different. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, also, what, what, what are the three? What are the three responses we need to choose from again? Uh, panic, paralysis. fight, fight, or fleas. Yeah, uh, <laughs> panic, paralysis, or frenzy in uh, UA terms. But yeah, it's pretty similar to DG. If you uh, yeah. lose five or more saying at once. So, yeah. No, I, I'm. I mean, I think totally paralysis for all right. Yeah, because that's um, fascinating and horrifying. Uh, yeah. All at once. Uh, you were rooted on the spot. Uh, your limbs stop responding. Um, even though as part of your brain is trying to decide whether you need to run away or get closer, uh, mm-hmm. resulting in paralysis. Um, uh, Claire, what about you? Uh, I go through my rote coping mis- mechanism, which is to produce a cigarette and light it. Okay. Uh, also paralysis as your yep. hand shakily. Uh, uh, and yeah, it takes a couple of time to turn the lighter on. Yeah. Um, and uh let's see alan uh paralysis yeah no. <laughs> yeah like, uh uh paul just like, run- is the fuck? panic he <laughs> runs uh stephanie also chooses paralysis she falls down on her butt uh and crawls away a little bit backing up to the garage door uh and uh yeah uh all of you are uh, uh, paralyzed for a while, uh, but nothing else happens. Uh, but as you do, uh, all the scent of blood actually, uh, you can all uh, smell it, and you can see there is now uh, blood spattered on the hood uh, and the windshield. Uh, you did not see it before the incident happened. Uh, but so this is kind of like he hit something, and it it just took like thirty minutes to catch up. That's possible. I mean, that, that it does look like he hit something. Uh, yeah, uh, it does look like he hit a well, some living thing. Uh, How big something big thing. thing? Yeah, big like person like or a deer moose? sized. Well, no, like deer, uh, like, like deer sized oh, that's or funny. person sized. Um, Intent. Yeah. Uh, I want to. I want to kind of 
touch the blood that suddenly appeared there. Okay. You do so. It's it's real. It's, it's okay. not a hallucination. Does it smell? Yeah. yeah, it smells like blood. Well, does it smell awful and repulsive like Paul was responding um, to earlier? You do... S- yeah, there is a there's a faint stench to it. Uh, mm-hmm. Like rotting meat. Ugh. Um... Yeah, that is that is something that happens. So, um, but yeah, at this point, yeah, as you've had a few minutes to recover, uh, and yeah, nothing else happened. Uh, Elias, you can actually make a uh, roll on attuned to the language of uh, clouds. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so this is against the identity itself. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, uh, crit. Or yeah. double patches, I guess that's sort of a half crit. Um, yeah, yeah, it's very much a critical uh, thirty three under seventy five. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, there. There, there. You see the 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 clouds pass over the moon uh, very suddenly, um, and everything dims for a moment. Uh, but you can see a sort of unnatural greenish light for a moment on the car uh and yeah this is a curse uh paul has been cursed and Mm. by someone a very powerful curse and uh with a 33 you know this will eventually kill him unless something is done to lift the curse oh okay so i'm gonna start crying okay um yeah that's probably i'll kind of crouch uh, down and you know head in the hands and uh Let's see here. Give me a check for uh, helplessness. Uh, and you defend with status. Uh, well, well, let's see. What's your helplessness at? Uh, actually, you have four notches in it. Let's see here. Uh, they have examples in the book of like how much in that. Um, how much many? Uh, I would say actually, you you with four notches, you 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 don't have to make a roll. Um, okay. Because he, he could die. It's not they're, they're, you know that there's still a chance. Uh, if the curse is lifted, he would live. Um, but yeah, you're you're still like yeah. I mean, I'm gonna look up at whichever of the other two is nearest to me and and ask um, why would somebody do this to him? All right. So that's what Elias says. Um, Claire, what are you well, gonna do? Why would somebody do this to him? So Paul fled. Yeah, he went back into the house. Yeah, okay. Panicked. Well, I don't want to be around somebody that's crying, so I'm gonna go try and find Paul. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Paul's in the kitchen uh, on the ground, uh, you know, uh, drinking a beer as fast as possible, um, and sort of huddled. Uh, you know, not quite in the uh, fetal position, but just sitting down and you know, freaking out a little bit. Um. Okay. Um, so I want to calm him down so that we can have like a real conversation about the last few hours of his life. Mm -hmm. Um, so can I roll against social media expert, make others think I'm relatable and approachable? (laughs) You sure can. Uh, 17. Yeah, very good. Go smash that like button IRL. (laughs) Um, so I, I was reading a series of articles about like getting people to like open up to you, uh, because this is part of my market strategy is, is I get people to think that they're like really chummy with me due to my interactions on Twitter. And then that's how I get commissions regularly rolling in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so I apply all of that knowledge to be like, Hey, Paul, buddy, dude, it's fine. It's just a little curse. (laughs) (laughs) Oh no. Uh, it's a curse. Why don't you rest your head on this Casper mattress and tell me all about it? <laughs> yeah, you want something to drink? Here, here's some water. It'll help you feel better. Okay, you take the beer out of his hand and give him some water. Um, and yeah, I should probably drink that. Um, it, it's, I was, um, we've been dealing with a lot of, uh, um, there's this uh, uh, development, this, uh, uh, uh it's uh, uh, the place is called Sunrise Acres. It's a it was supposed to be this new gated community, but it the financing fell through, and most of the houses are abandoned. 
but um, a lot of people left and they left their their pets behind. And so we've been, you know, animal control has been out there. We've been out there uh, trying to deal with it, but I've just been getting so pissed because there's this pack uh, and they're real <laughs> dangerous and they've, you know, they've almost gotten to us. So, so he's he, part of animal control. Yeah, he, he works for animal control. Um, so I kind of did something that we're not supposed to do, but um, I just wanted to get rid of this fucking pack, um, so we could do our job and get these, you know, clear out all these houses. These, uh, um, the I, I got some roadkill, uh, and I put some poison on the corpse on it. And then I left it out for the pack, uh, to try and, you know, uh, thin their numbers out. Um, but after I did that, um, today, I mean, I did that yesterday and then today I just, there was someone out there and he just looked at me and he just pointed at me and, and he just, I just, he knew. And he, 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 he knew that I knew uh, he wanted me to know. And then, I mean, by the time I stopped the truck and to, to, to try and get out, um, I couldn't find him, but it's gotta be this old guy. Um, I, Do you, you remember know. what he looks like? Yeah. He's like, a he's almost like a, a, one of those hobos, but he's like wearing um, something, some big, something around his neck. I couldn't quite make out what it was, but it was like, uh like white um um and he's like carrying around like a fucking you know a walking stick uh a big beard just you know he had a hey, couple of dogs following him buddy uh, i let's, listen let's we've been friends for a long time right we've been yeah. coming to do each other birth, each other's birthday party since we were 15 right i need you yeah. to just breathe calm down and okay. describe in detail everything you can remember about this guy. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going in, to I'm, use... I'm coming during, during all this and listening. Okay, okay. sure. I'm going to use my identity veteran furry porn artist to make convincing <laughs> visual media about okay. what it is you saw. So I'm yeah. just going to... You can sketch artist. Do sketch artist shit. I'm going to stand in the doorway and record it on my nice. GoPro. Okay. Yeah. It was, so. It's one away from 69. I assume you've also gotten footage of the car itself. Yeah, uh, yeah. Of the truck, sorry, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, post, of course, it looks very conventional. Um, you know, because you didn't capture the, the miraculous act of that happening. Um, Does the description of that old man sound familiar from, from uh, the streets and my kind of um, occasionally rough living? Yeah, you can make a, a yard bird check. Uh, ah. Success. Um, you do know you you did hear about somebody um, who a lot of the homeless people, um, uh, they actually do call him. Uh, well, they call him the 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 bone man because he wears a necklace of bones, uh, and. He like he, he apparently has found some place somewhere where there's it's easy living for homeless people if you're if you're willing to you know uh, lots of good pickings for things to uh, uh, scavenge um, and so people have been you know pray you know, it, like if it, if it's tough here just go find the bone man and you'll you'll have an easier life and so it sounds like somebody with a white necklace that could uh, that could be bone. Um. Yeah, I'll um, I'll kind of tell I'll, I'll tell people like whoever's paying attention and mm-hmm. seems to have their head together again. That sounds like the Bone Man. Okay, Bone Man. Uh, oh, that's okay. a great title. That's synced to the point. <laughs> um. Yeah. I'm so kind of shrug. that's just what they call him. <laughs> it's only a name. Uh, it is uh, a name, but you have a name to go to. Uh, mm-hmm. There's also a place to check out, uh, Sunrise Acres, uh, which is, um, you know, Paul can give you directions. But yeah, he is your friend, and um, 
Uh, at this point, you all, because of Elias's, uh, does have an ability to get information no one else seems to be able to have, I would say at this point. Um, sometimes Elias does know things. And um, I assume, Elias, you have, you have mentioned the whole curse thing. To, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I've been trying. Okay. All right. I am. Yeah. So Paul is uh, pretty distraught. Uh, his car, he doesn't want to get near his car. Um, he also doesn't want to get, leave this house tonight. Um, so, uh, you can all spend the night at Stephanie's house. You know, uh, she has a guest room, uh, and, uh, sleeping bags for people, um, and the couch, of course. So, uh, what, uh, do you want to do anything else or what, what, well, you guys can talk about what you want to do next. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna spend some time just sort of thinking back and on uh, on um, places I've heard about this fellow and in what context and put okay. together a. Well, that's a, about with the, that role. That's about all you could remember. Um, sure. You'd have, to, okay. you'd have to talk to somebody. Um, I mean, yeah. you no know other uh, homeless people uh, in the area, so you could. You'd have to go out and like. How Talk how far you. is this is Sunrise Acres from where we are now? Um, it's not too far. It's probably like a twenty thirty minute drive, depending on what time of day you go to. It's yeah, you know, okay. Like I mean, that's drive. pretty far for walking, though. Well, yeah, for walking. Yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, but you guys have, uh, or at least the the Alan and Claire have cars. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, Alan has a car. He gave me a ride. Okay. Yep. So yeah, um, you have a car that all three of you can get into. Um, so you could you could wait until morning to go, or you could go right now. Or uh, what do you want to do? Uh, do we want to wander around in the dark, or do we want to just wait until it's a little bit lighter out? Does the Bone Man, from what I know, does he tend to make himself hard to find or easy to find? Hard to find. Okay, so we need. It's not going to do us any good to. You know, if you're chasing somebody who's hiding, you you don't want to do it at night. There, you, from the impression you got was that you have to be, um, worthy to find him, uh, quote unquote. Like you need to want to, you know, um, because the uh, the place that he's found is really good pickings, and so he wants to keep this place kind of secret. Uh, so yeah. Uh, but that could just be people hyping up the bone man. I mean, mm-hmm. to be in the now that you think about it, 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 it's sounding almost like a cult recruitment pitch, uh, but maybe not, you know, maybe it's, there was a little bit, the reason why you didn't join because it did sound a little too good to be true. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, you're not quite sure, but um, <coughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Do you, do you, Oh, uh, um, I guess I do have one thing mm-hmm. i wanted to do mm-hmm. so again leaning on my identity as veteran furry porn artist mm-hmm. naturally um so one of the features is sourcing visual media or references to other visual media um mm-hmm. would i know if there's any kind of significance to his necklace of bone like does that show up somewhere else um like in popular culture or in like okay uh you can give me a culture type yeah. Uh, that succeeds. Okay. Um, you know, you do think back to, um, there, there is sort of a crossover of like neo primitivists who are Mm -hmm. trying to get back to hunter gatherer roots. Um, and certainly some of them have kind of, uh, created stuff that would look more appropriate in a movie about cavemen than, you know, because, you know, they're not going back to like, they're going to be like 10,000 years, like Neolithic era. That's the kind of past that they romanticize. So they, there's obviously not much in the way of uh, information about what those people actually did as societal practices uh, or what they wore. So they just kind of like, well, clearly they wore bone necklaces or something like that, or, Mm -hmm. or, you know, Mm -hmm. um, that kind of thing. So, um, and this is going to make great fodder for your movie. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean those primitive technology channels, tons of views. 
Look, well, and imagining the costuming, that. you know, you mm. slap bones on everything. <laughs> really yeah. brings people in through the gore factor. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Do you continue watching WrestleMania as you discuss this? Hell yeah. <laughs> okay. We gotta see Not if they can win. Uh, Paul goes to sleep. He doesn't feel in the mood to watch WrestleMania after that. Uh, Fair. Um, he, but yeah, uh, it's a good match. Uh, Becky wins. And... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right, Ross. Pander to your players. Do you know how much force it would take to crush a human skull? <laughs> what do you think is like the amount of crushing force that like her thighs could just put out? <laughs> Is <laughs> anyone measured? I'm asking for science. I'm definitely uh, not drawing this out. Uh, yeah. By the way, you did make a <laughs> successful sketch. Uh, one says, "Yeah, that's the guy." Um, so you do have a sketch of the bone man. Um, bone man. So looks pretty bony. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he looks like someone who's been outdoors for a while. Uh, someone, you know, panache for uh, bones. Yeah. 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 Uh, when you draw the necklace as bones as like um, you know animal skulls, he does. Yeah, they were like animal skulls. Uh, now that he thinks about it, so uh, yeah, uh, pretty, totally normal person, uh, quote unquote. I mean, it's not human skulls, so I'm going to have to give this design a four out of ten. But uh, thanks for your help, Paul, buddy. I think well, human skulls would probably uh, be a little more noticeable or a little more actionable by you know police and stuff like that if he's ever seen so um so the night finishes do you go do you drive home or do you uh spend the night at stephanie's house i mean might as well uh, crash here if we're all gonna go out in the yeah morning. like i don't want to call an uber so okay. if alan's staying i'm gonna stay okay uh and elias you just you know you're here anyway so yeah um yeah i'm gonna stay near uh stay near Paul and uh you know so I can I can kind of listen to his dreams if if uh, if they're loud enough. Mhm. Uh let's see. Let's Um oh yeah also because you got a 33 um you can uh make a hunch roll which means you make you roll a d100 now. <laughs> And then you can use that roll. You can keep that roll and use it in a a, a future skill check. So if it's uh, well, that's for um, Elias. Oh, sorry, I thought it was all of us. No, uh, he, okay. it's, uh, if you look on his thing, it has. That. Oh, it's a specific part of his ability. Yeah. So you say you can save that sixty four. Uh, well, actually, you can flip it to a forty six. Um, and let's see. Is that is somebody messaging me? But anyways, uh, you can save that forty six and use it instead of making a roll uh, sometime in the future. So uh, that's how hunches work. So if it's if it's okay. not an important, if it was high, for example, you could have like oh, I'll just use it on a notice roll where everybody else is making notice rolls. But if it's a really mm-hmm. if it's a really good roll, you could save it for like I really need to succeed this. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, just keep that in mind and let me know when you want to use it. So, okay. Uh, and after you use it, you can make another hunch roll at some point. Okay. So that's how hunches work in unknown armies. So, uh, but more, uh, there is, we're uh, learning. Yeah, we are. Uh, there is, uh, you do hear sounds of, uh, something scratching at the front door, uh, at one point in nine, Elias, you hear it first because you're on the couch, uh, near the front door. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to go investigate. Okay. Uh, how are you going to investigate? Are you going to, when you look through the peak hole, there's is, nobody is the there. scratching coming from up high or from low? Low. Is it like, you know, a cat scratching at the door or some kind of animal? Uh, okay. I'll find a broom first then. Okay. And, and then, uh, and then open the door. Okay. You open the door, um, and there's nothing there, but you do smell like rotting meat. Okay. Uh, uh, are there any stains? Um, when you look, uh, give me, give me a notice check. Uh, okay. 
Uh, it succeeds, I notice. Okay. Yes. Uh, no, it does yeah. not. It fails by two, my bad. Okay. Mm. Nope. Okay. It's dark. You're tired. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, all right. Then I'll kind of slowly close the door and uh, and head back. Okay. Head back uh, your house. your unnatural was enough that you didn't have to make a check. Okay. But it was slightly spooky. It's, uh, yeah. It's uh, clearly, clearly all part of the same issue. Yeah. And... Um... Anyways, so the uh, n- morning comes. Uh, Paul is very tired. He did not sleep very well. Um, he clearly still is upset. Um, he is going to call in and stay here at Stephanie's house. Uh, both of them are going to call in and uh, stay home instead of going to work. Uh, you know, Paul's truck is... <laughs> totaled uh so he doesn't oh well even if it's not totaled he doesn't want to get near it uh sure. stephanie wants to to make sure he's not alone um so uh yeah uh do any of you do anything before you head out to uh, so when it's now that it's daylight mm-hmm. the truck you said the truck had had blood on it and it smelled rotting mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. is there anything besides blood like fur or hair you can give me another notice check. Yeah, I was going to inspect the truck now that it's... Yeah, you can all give also, yeah. If it's this weird delayed effect, to see if anything else changed. Okay. Uh, five, but that succeeds. Wow. Uh, uh, I critically fail. Burke is now blind. Uh, uh, <laughs> I caught the sun wrong <laughs> off the fender. Uh, uh, yeah, I Don't mean, you can't... the rotting blood in your eyes. Yeah, this is not... Uh, uh, it's very hard to, uh, yeah. It's still early, man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so there, you do see animal tracks, um, uh, on the ground, uh, and there are bits of fur. They, they look larger, um, with threes and fives and all of you put together, you, they look like, Maybe like opossums, or uh, some of them look like opossum tracks, and some of them look like dog tracks. Um, so, as a yeah. veteran furry porn artist, <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <you're good. laughs> with an intrinsic understanding of any kind of anatomy. <laughs> yep. Uh, when can I roll this to see if I could get a little more specific than maybe opossums? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, I get twelve. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually, um, opossums, dogs, uh, larger dogs, and, uh, you know enough about, you know, canine anatomy. Get a client and make you draw a lot of feet. Yeah. Uh, there's that one guy, uh, furry foot fan. Uh, Listen, Sticky Paws was, uh, precisely crafted in order to bring in the largest paying demographic. I know. I knew exactly what I got it. Uh, you, you, you can distinguish between dog tracks and coyote tracks, and there are coyote tracks here. Um, but they, they're, they're, they're all around, looking around the truck or the well, the the truck's on the driveway. So obviously, there's, uh, well, there, there, there's. Uh, it hadn't rained, it had not rained recently, um, so you can't see any tracks on the driveway itself, obviously. But on the yard nearby, you can see them uh, in the dirt and. Um, it's very odd to you because opossums, dogs, and coyotes all in the same area, and there weren't any they, tracks. They would be fighting with each other, yeah. Yeah, they would be fighting. Also, you're in the city, and coyotes, you've seen, they have been spotted like on the outskirts, um, but not this far inside city limits. Oh, we don't have urban coyotes yet? Um, Again, I mean, there may have been, there might be, but certainly not like a large group of them, and it looks like more than one. Um, so it's, if, if maybe they are getting closer in, in the city, uh, center of the city, but like you're, you're, this is yeah. Highly unusual to say the least. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nobody asked me how I know. Um, but there are <laughs> definitely coyote dogs, large dogs and opossums all in this band of tracks, mm-hmm. which I, I don't think I need to explain why that's weird. Mm-hmm. So yeah. So I'm gonna. I want to. I want to think about if, um, like, if I were still, if I were still homeless, and where I needed to find a place 
safe to crash was near Sunrise Acres. Um, mm-hmm. What are the top two or three places I would go that wouldn't involve tons and tons of walking? And, um, and I want to ask uh, ask Alan to drive us to the first one. Okay, sure. Uh, and you ready to go? Uh, under Yardbird. Okay. No. Yep. Um, the so you can't think of, you haven't been out to Sunrise Acres because uh, mm-hmm. again it's a newer development um, and it's basically one of those new suburban gated communities or suburban quote unquote it's basically built in the middle just outside the city on otherwise worthless land um, and the idea was to eventually make it into a suburban uh, community or you know area but like mm. obviously people didn't move in at the rates that would be sustainable blah 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 so it got kind of abandoned um so yeah failed real estate development um yeah all right well i thought this was a as we're driving around for a while not finding a place i thought that uh that i knew about Let's yeah was, um, there is a uh, there is here. an underpass uh there's a highway underpass mm-hmm. you can go to but it's out basically it would be a long walk to sunrise acres but there would be people homeless people probably in the underpass yeah you know, well, so uh, i guess that's our that's our that's our stop then okay so you stop at right. the underpass unless um, somebody else has a better better notion um, um we're just trying to find sunrise acres oh uh, well you you can go to sunrise acres itself like you can get in there it's again basically there's apparently the way paul described it there's a couple people living there um, but the p- developers who um, own the community have been getting on the city to get animal control to get rid of all the people's pets that they abandoned when they moved out. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what Paul was doing. So, um, yeah, but it's not it, it was to be gated, but they didn't even finish building like the, the gates because, you know, uh, the money fell through. So you can go to Sunrise Acres itself um, or you can go to the underpass. Um <laughs> But if we just go to Sunrise Acres, is it likely like if somebody sees us, they'll throw us out? No, there's okay. only a handful think, of families there. I yeah. think going to a homeless camp and asking them about the bone mares is probably the best because at least we can get more information to go off of, so that when we show up at Sunrise Acres, like we know where to start looking for him. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so um, you go to the underpass. Um, it's um it's actually by the 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 crows fly uh not terribly far but you'd have to pass over several highways and it's on sort of a uh on the summer like you'd just be there'd be no shade but going between this underpass and sunrise acres so like it would be really hot and uh bad so it's yeah mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. but uh you get there but it's uh, something. yeah and there's a couple of homeless people there um they built up some little cardboard shelters, um, and um, you pull off, um, you know, uh, and uh, Alan, what kind of car are you driving? I have a sweet old Toyota Corolla. Okay. Someday I'll get a Tesla like all the cool kids. <laughs> I would like to um, spend stress to have a flashback scene. Um. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, wait, this is not Blades of the Dark. Uh, <laughs> wrong, wrong game. Yeah. Uh, what kind of flashback would you want? Uh, I just wanted to, to have a stop at a gas station before we showed up and just buy some things of water. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's pretty easy to do. Um, sure. Uh, yeah, you have some bottles of water. So. While we're, whoever's paying for it while we're shopping, I'm going to throw in, like, you know, whatever, beef jerky and... Uh, <laughs> And From. energy bars. Are these for you, or, or just part of no. my my gambit? No, it's, yeah, it's, okay. Uh, yeah, it's it's it's. Yes. We'll make a. We'll put together a care package. Shall you? Yeah. So so we've got some stuff, and uh, so when we roll up on this homeless camp, I'm probably just gonna let um. You said is your name Elias? Yeah. Uh, probably just let you take the lead because um, you have slightly more um. Well, I'm not very personable. So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, yeah. So, sure. Elias, okay. yeah, you you have your gifts, um, in a you know little 
plastic bag, you know, that they the gave you at the gas station. Um, mm-hmm. And you use, yeah, three homeless people there. Um, one younger, two older. Um, and they're just kind of, you know, lounging about because uh, it's right. a bright, sunny day and they don't want to. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of, I'll, I'll approach them and, um, and, uh, I mean, if I, it's probably not somebody I know, but if there is somebody I know in the group, then that's even better. But otherwise I'm, mm-hmm. you know, making sure yeah. to yeah. not look like a, uh, you know, a yuppie slumming. Yeah. Uh, give me a yard bird roll. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, they are fairly indifferent. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, so, what are you saying to them? Uh, um, well, I'll kind of hold the bag up and say, um, "Say, uh, hey, I'm uh, I'm looking for somebody, and uh, and I can uh, and I could use some help." Uh, why don't you use your uh, phone and go look him up on what is it? What is it, kid? Bing! Yeah, Bing! Look it up on Bing! And they all chuckle at that. Well, you know, if uh, if I could find him on Bing, then I wouldn't be out here trying to give uh, give one of you water and uh, and uh, and food and and whatnot. Well, who are you even trying to find? So wh- can I tell which of them looks, you know, the most squirrely and which of them looks the most canny? You know, do, is there is there any distinction between them in that way? Um, the one you're talking to looks more canny. The There's mm-hmm. a he's got like a beard and a stocking cap on. Uh, and the there's another guy with just really the 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 other older one has really long hair um, and is rail thin. Um, mm-hmm. I guess he's, you know. Uh, probably a frequenter of methamphetamines, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, the younger one um, is uh, got short hair uh, and is got a uh, phone uh, and is playing some sort of game on it. You know, mm-hmm. some cheap cracked uh, screen uh, smartphone. Yeah. Okay. So I'll keep talking to the one that's been the the, 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 the talker. And say, uh, and I'll kind of crouch down next to him and say, uh, uh, he's called the Bone Man. Uh, you don't want to talk to him. You got access to a car. You can get a job. You can you can get back in society. What 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 do you want to do with a Bone Man? You got friends um, with you. Like you don't you don't need to go that path, man. I'll kind of shrug and say. Uh, and say, uh, well, that's my business, and it's not your business. And this right here, and I'll kind of shake the bag, it doesn't care what the reasons are. Uh, he says, look, that's what's in even in there. He looks in the bag and says, that's not enough. I'm not going to piss off him, or you're looking for him, and you're not yeah, I, that's 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 asking a lot. Um, the squirrelier one, you know, uh, with the long hair, actually looks up. It's like, I, I I know about the bone man. Um, uh, if you, uh, I just need some. I just need a ride somewhere. Uh, you give me a ride, I'll tell you all about the bone man. Man, you don't know shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, come on. I I know. I know. Um, what do you know? I know all about him. I know, uh, I know, I know all about him. I know all kinds of stuff. What do you want to know? What's he look like? He's an old guy. Uh, he got, he, 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 uh, he, 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 dogs follow him. Yeah. He, uh, I know he's been, uh, he's, I know where he, where he's been hanging out lately. Just give me a ride. I'll tell you what. He's got dogs following him. Yeah. What else? Uh, you know, he, uh, oh, he's got a stick. All right. Um, how's, how's the, how's the other one? The slightly, the older one, 
the you know the canny one reacting to this kid doing all this. Um, yeah, all of you can give me a connect roll to try and figure out, or something that substitutes for connect. I'm gonna use expert <laughs> social media manager exam. Yep. It does substitute for connect, etc. Et mm-hmm. mm-hmm. uh, succeed. Uh, I do yeah, succeed. succeed. Aww. Um, those of you, so at least one of you succeeded. Uh, I think two of us did. Yes. Yeah. So the canny guy is clearly. You get the sense that you know the bone man is someone that you're not going to mess with for a couple of bottles of water and some beef jerky and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, but the, uh, the squirrel you want obviously is wanting to <laughs> manipulate you into getting them drugs. Mm-hmm. Um, but whether or not he knows anything, you don't know. Yeah. Uh, uh so- okay. A dude in the middle, I'm gonna look back at him and say, uh, so what is enough? Uh, the candy guy, the, the, yeah. the okay. Um, Unless you got some pull with the city or something, you know. Um, uh, uh, some, what you as, need. as a veteran mm. furry porn artist, I can lie unflinchingly. Yeah. Of course can. I have a yeah. sway yeah. with the city. I mean, we have two friends who work for the city. We don't even have to lie. Yeah. Nice. No, it substitutes for status. Eat? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're very convincing when you, te- when you tell him that. And he's like, okay. Um, <laughs> put a call in. Uh, he he gets out a crumpled business card. Put a call into this lady and let her know that I'm looking for a job, so she can get me placed somewhere better than this. Sure. Okay. What's your? Do we get his name? Sorry. Uh, the candy guy's name is. Let me get my random name generator up, <laughs> and. Carl Graham, Stevens. Graham Canny. Uh, his name <laughs> Canny is... Carl. Kansas City Carl, as they like to call uh, him. George Shelton. So, I don't know. I hate Shelton's. I kind of like Carl Stevens. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, well, his, his social worker is Carl Stevens. Okay. Well, <laughs> kind of that... let me down. I feel like my immersion is broken a little bit, but we can recover from this. <laughs> okay. Uh, so if you give Carl Stevens a call, um, uh, he, he George will uh, um, help you. So, but he wants to hear back from Carl first. So, okay. Uh, well, um, I guess I'll call Carl. Okay. Uh, you call up Carl. Um, it takes you a bit to get through to him, uh, but he says yes. Uh, hello. Uh, hey, Carl. Uh, it's uh, Claire Morin. Um, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so um I can um can I just like pretend to be like somebody that's like higher up in the chain from him and be like, hey, like we really Um well he talks to you for a bit and he realize uh you know in order to get him at place and shelter you need to convince uh say that George has been looking for work. So you have an LLC registered for your freelance work and stuff like that so you say yeah he's applied for a job at your what's your llc called by the way uh my llc is um a view media a view media <laughs> um yeah. then and you and you have a plausible story for what kind of job yeah he's a be. he's a word on the street consultant uh, we feel that his field knowledge like really helps us connect with uh people when we were doing our uh okay surveys and things <laughs> all right um yeah that's enough uh you made your role uh so uh, he he bought it was like okay um here put put uh george on the line so he hey george oh, carl wants to talk to you all right so they talk for a minute and he says uh, uh all right um yeah I'll, I'll be right over uh so he, he holds it can you can you give me a ride to the the shelter i'll tell you everything you need to know on the way uh, i have yeah. no objections alan Okay. Yeah, the car fits four. Okay. So, so uh, George uh, agrees, packs up his stuff, uh, which will fit in your trunk, and mm-hmm. off he goes. Uh, gotta we're going to leave the water and the inside. snacks for the kid, though. Okay. Uh, the kid is like, oh, thanks. Um, he 
uh, takes him. And um, so he, you notice he has like a, a tiny uh, battery, USB battery pack that's uh, got a little solar panel on that uh, that he, he has out in the sun. Um, Fancy. Yeah. So all of you uh, pack into the car and says, all right, so what do you want to know about the bone man? Uh, I want to know where we can find him, right? Yeah. Well, he's been, yeah. he's got a tag. Um, I can draw it for you. Uh, of course, Claire has, you know, a sketch yeah. at it. Yeah. And so he draws it. Uh, it's sort of an abstracted symbol, uh, but it looks like a, an elongated face with an X over it uh, and two black eyes. Uh, the face, the or more like a skull. With a X over it, um, mm-hmm. uh, Claire, you you you. That's think... a veteran furry porn artist. <laughs> yeah. God, <laughs> yeah, it's go so do your art. <laughs> it's yeah. I didn't even yeah. I, I didn't give you much of a clue. About yeah, this. I, I uh, yeah, I've seen this before. Uh, well, you haven't seen it before, but the symbol actually looks. I know like what it's a, like. Yeah, yeah. What it references. <laughs> uh, the face is actually you're guessing uh, an elongated animal skull, like a deer or uh, another animal with a longer face on it, a uh, mm-hmm. deer or a horse. Um, and it actually reminds you of uh, yeah, neo primitives, uh, primitivists who go back to caves. You know, there's archaeologists and anthropologists have done work on like the first symbols on cave drawings and like what the similarities are and, you know, basic shapes. And uh, this kind of gives you that kind of vibe, like deconstructing or reconstructing, you know, cave drawings to make a new kind of uh, symbol. So this dude is taking his paleo diet extremely seriously. (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) So um, he draws the tag. He says, yeah, if you see that tag, that means he he's operating in the area. Um, I, w- I walked over to Sunrise Acres once to see if I could get in any of the buildings and, you know, but I saw the tag there, so I just backed out. Um, but I do know, um, there's a, uh, uh, there's this lady who knows more about him, uh, Gertrude. She, uh, she does taxidermy, uh, like artistic taxidermy. That makes and, uh, sense. Yeah, she she paid a couple of us to find, um, you know, things on the side of the road for her to use. Um, but she's had some dealings with them or something. But like, all I know is people who go to the Bone Man's yard, uh, they don't come back, or if they come back, they're they're weird. There's something I don't know. Uh, <laughs> people say the Bone Man's yard is really nice. And good living and better than almost better than having a house. Uh, but you know, I don't know. Uh, what, what's your business with him anyway? Oh, he cursed a friend of ours trying to kill him. Oh, yeah, it's well, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, he's got. I know there's this pack of dogs and maybe even coyotes. I can't tell the difference that follow. Oh, yeah, there's a coyote, so, at least one. Yeah. Um yeah, Gertrude, she has some studio or something in Kansas City, uh downtown area. Um she, yeah, you could she knows a lot more about him. She's she's talked to him. I again I see the tag, I, I stay away because I don't know. Uh I don't like it. So yeah. Um that's uh if you want to find you might see him in sunrise acres um i don't know what he's doing there but i feel like we should probably talk to gertrude before we go looking for him yeah uh good luck on getting your friend uncursed I, i've seen a lot of weird shit on the street so if you if you say he's been cursed he's been cursed you know yeah you uh, seem pretty calm i've seen some weird things that. out here man some weird things I yeah i get a like a thousand yards there I've seen some weird things. <laughs> There's some. Uh, I remember, you know, someone held a, a party at an a, one of the that uh, that mall that they abandoned a while ago, and like they started mm-hmm. screaming that you know they're growing new teeth. Uh, everyone came out of there more teeth in their mouth than they went in with. Uh, I've seen some shit, man. 
So. Yeah, I've been to BernieCon before. <laughs> um, Elias, any questions for him? For no, you? no, I'm I'm just staring up at the sky at this point, completely tuned out. Okay, fair enough. Uh, did you want to? I've use got my your... eyes on the road. Yeah, um, a responsible driver. Okay, so that's what I like about you, Ellen. You're a responsible driver. <laughs> Thank you. So you get to the shelter, you drop him off. Um, and because at least two of you have phones, uh, you can Google uh, or Bing uh, Gertrude Taxidermy. And uh, yeah, there is an artist in, Can- in a Kansas City gallery that uh, is using artistically, uh, artistic uh, reimagined taxidermied animals, uh, especially. I give, uh, I give George my email in case people need to follow up on him looking for work so that I can lie for him again. <laughs> okay. He he thanks you. Yeah, you're doing me real solid. Uh, I I think this is it. I think I can get back on my feet. I can get a get get some shelter. Then I can get some get a job, and then it's back. And then I'm back, baby. Yeah, man. Enjoy your shower. Yeah. All right. Keep the dream alive. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, what do you guys want to do? Uh, I want to look around and see if there's like a Walmart or something nearby, because um, we need to buy some pepper spray. Okay. Oh, I have pepper spray. Well, the uh, rest of us need some too, though. That's uh, right. yeah, that's a quick detour. Um, somebody, Alan or Claire, can buy pepper spray for the party. Yeah, I can go. All right, because this is also yeah. around where Gertrude is and stuff, right? Uh, there's there's a store not too far. Um, you, when you when you search for like pepper a safe spray, way. yeah, there's uh, well, yeah. maybe. There's actually a police, you know, slash tactical store that sells all kinds of pepper spray. We can get um, tactical pepper spray. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, I don't. I'd rather go to the Safeway and buy Safeway pepper spray than than. Uh, than yeah, I want to go into the cop spray, surplus. But... Okay. <laughs> um, I don't know if Safeway has pepper spray, but we'll say this one does. does. <laughs> all right um, Tactical safe you, well we could also go to like a camping store and buy um bear spray because it's the same thing mm-hmm. um well yeah. near enough to the same thing yeah there's like an rei uh nearby so uh or there's one in kansas city so yeah that that takes like an hour between traffic and parking and all that stuff to find a store and buy two additional bottles of uh pepper spray uh but that's not a problem so yeah um you have that uh pocketed away and I guess if we're at a camping place, we can go ahead and stock up on more, uh, more, um, more camping food in case we need to bribe somebody else. Okay. Yeah, we can get a couple trays, a couple MREs. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, or some trail mix and uh, that kind of thing. Tarps uh, too, because they're uh, cheap and constructible material. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, you can get tarps. Yeah. In case we need to roll up bodies. <laughs> I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, that's that's not wrong. Um, that is, that would be the kind of thing you'd have to buy. So okay, some... and then we'll head to Gertrude's place. Uh, there's an yep. art gallery uh, that has um, her work on display, so they would have contact information for Gertrude. Uh, Gertrude does have a website and a Twitter handle, but you don't know. Uh, there's no phone number listed on that, so um you do know i will say for free uh as a you know furry artist better than furry porn artist yes yeah, better than fr- uh, furry <laughs> porn artist. uh you know any art artist would uh jump eagerly at the the chance to get a commission so you could lure her out by uh offering to commission work for her uh but you'd have to lie or uh someone like gertrude who's getting her work shown in galleries is obviously going to be very pricey um so you could either buy or you could try and get the, the name at the gallery or uh, convince Gertrude to talk to you. She may not want to talk to you about Bone Man. So uh, um, do, do we some... do we know where the gallery is or do we need to find out the name of the gallery? Uh, you know the name of the you know the gallery. George did tell you because he had to yeah. off some <laughs> things uh, at the gallery. Uh, once. Um, yeah, let's roll up to the gallery because I can convince the staff there to get her to come out and talk to us. Okay. Um, it is the uh, oh, I can't think of the name. Um, 
uh the veblen art gallery and the yeah it's open to the public you can just go in there and walk around um and they Uh have uh her work is apparently taking like um deer that have been hit by cars and then like putting like right now she's doing like a deer motorcycle and deer and uh deer cars and uh machines uh, so she's trying to gentrify roadkill yes very much so wow excellent yep uh that's it's the the newest trend apparently or at least that's her her unique thing um okay so So, i'm gonna roll up to the gallery manager and be like hey uh i'm i own and operate view media and i'm contracted with uh, meridian new horizons and uh, i'm here to talk about maybe bringing on some new talent for a project we're we're uh starting Okay. Uh, give me a roll. Um, this is a savvy uh, person. Uh, they're going to look up your company name and everything. So uh, I'm staying in the car because the more we hear about the Gertrude, the more parasitic she sounds like and unpleasant. And I'm terrible at lying. <laughs> okay. Uh, Fifty six. Which okay. which works for? Uh, any- yeah, it does work. Uh, I was giving you a negative twenty penalty, but your skills eighty, so that actually still works. Uh, um, good job uh Thanks. she um the 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 receptionist at the gallery uh whose name is um kimberly um and it's spelled weirdly um, hey kimmy yeah she says well you know she actually did gertrude did mention she wanted to talk to somebody in your uh community uh to to as a consultant so for uh some ideas she has for some new work um i think she's trying to uh you know make uh furry the next big uh trend in fine art you know um uh-huh so uh yeah i'll, I'll uh hold on a second um so yeah if you want to do a collab or something um oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, really craft a multimedia experience yeah. Can I smoke in here? Do you mind if I smoke in here? Uh, I'm no, already lighting a cigarette. No, 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 no. Uh, vaping's allowed, but you have to go outside. It's city ordinance. You can't, you can't smoke. But <sighs> you can vape. I'm sorry. Um, do, 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 do you do you do need a? Uh, we we can you can. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, it's just uh, there's a vape store so, across the street. If you if you ran out, of course there is. You don't you don't happen to have a pen on you? Um. Well, I I guess you can. Yeah, you could use mine. Thanks. I really appreciate it. Yeah. But the Vapatorium right across the street, it's Harry Potter themed. It's great. Um, and <sighs> that sounds really great, Kimmy. You've got a, you got an eye for taste. Thank you. Um, if Harry Potter vaped, he would definitely go to the Vapatorium. Oh, Harry Potter definitely vapes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, she says, um, yeah, Gertrude uh, could meet you for dinner um uh she's having uh uh, yeah she uh there's a uh locavore artisanal uh restaurant nearby um kind of an early dinner or you know late lunch kind of thing um or drinks yeah i guess yeah sure set us up i'd love to see her there okay um she'll be there in an hour okay uh she'll be wearing a well you you can see her photo on her website right yeah posing with uh dear are the headlights uh you know that oh my god (laughs) (sighs) Uh, okay yeah so uh, yeah alan and elias Mm -hmm. if you if you choose to go to this meeting with me uh i'm just gonna pretend that you're investors so like (laughs) try to look like you have money I say oh, to no. the unprofessional amateur <laughs> film artist and the unfortunately mm-hmm. houseless man. Mm-hmm. We can just sit in the car. <laughs> but uh, um, Actually, a life, you could say it's the hobo mm-hmm. sheep. You know, they're trying to gentrify. Uh, mm-hmm. That's true. That's true. I could so. say it, but again, I'm terrible at lying. <laughs> Uh, I'll I'll say it, and then uh, I can also say that the reason why Alan looks so shabby is because uh, he's a, he's a trust fund kid, and so he's just blowing all that money on trying to become a filmmaker. I spent all my money on this 4K GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, uh, no, you didn't. Some... You have tons of money. You just bought, <laughs> bought this Spokego Pro. <laughs> Get with it, Alan. Uh, Alan, give me a around with a red roll. camera. Let's let's. How good has your footage been recently? Let's let's, let's take a find look. out. Yeah, uh, pretty good. Twenty three out of seventy. Yep. So yeah, you're getting um, pretty good. Uh, footage. It's it's not so bad. The uh, viewfinder has a little rule of thirds lines. Mm-hmm. You stick on that, and you know people yeah. they love it. And, and you have a little handheld stabilizer thing. So mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. uh, you know, of course, his identity is untalented amateur filmmaker. <laughs> Well, he oh. thinks it is. Uh, <laughs> it's by his standard, which is what really matters. Uh, I'm no yeah. sensei Breen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I want out of this game. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you have some a bit of time to kill. Um, you could look at her art more carefully if you want to try and figure out anything. Um, or you could... Um... Uh, yeah, my social media manager... <laughs> One of the abilities is if I can identify like trends. Mm-hmm. So like what is up with her shitty art and what is it supposed to be evocative of? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if uh Unknown Army says like assist mechanics, but if I can like chime in with how we can make it, you know, more than just static art, but kinetic and blah 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 blah. Um well you can use New this media. to give you ideas on how to like uh butter Gertrude up uh first. Um, by reading yeah, actually you can give me another filmmaker check uh by like reading her artist statement you'll know mm-hmm. what kind of things she's looking for people to say that's uh, failed that's the, the word she part. wants I don't to actually, hear yeah <laughs> that's where i fail i don't actually know what other people want i only know what uh I want. is that your obsession though uh with no the obsessions are like well, the noble rage fear well no the, you also choose oh, one sorry. Of your uh noble fear. earnest artiste yeah. Um, well, no. Also, um, one of your identities is your obsession. Yes, means you it can, is. Yeah, yeah. So then you can flip that for free. Oh, okay. Then that'll be yeah. a forty-seven. Ad. Yeah. Um. Yeah, like uh, adepts always. Uh, that's why we're not. I mean, adepts would always be able to do that too, because that's their their magic skill is their. Uh, obsession. Oh, okay. Uh, but everyone gets an obsession. So, um, and. So you get to flip that, and yeah, you uh, so many good buzzwords. Yeah, there are a lot of buzzwords um, on the surface. Uh, she's it's about how you know man and civilization and technology are overwhelming nature and stuff like that. But um, on the actual level, um, this is uh, sort of a shameless appeal to. Um, uh, this is a sh- shameless attempt to appeal to people who are on the surface concerned about the environment, but actually just, you know, want something, uh, an expensive art piece to resell or high taxes, uh, you know, uh, evade taxes. Oh, so or, your average rich person. Yeah, your average rich person concern. However, mm-hmm. there is uh, a subtle trend where you actually do see the symbol, the tag that uh, George drew for you uh drawn or etched into the metal parts uh, or tattooed on some of the exposed uh skin of the taxidermy am- animals um the uh so and there there is something sort of uncanny about them um and you're not quite sure what it is um but yeah, there's yeah, you're, you're missing some bit of information, but uh, about it. But there there is something weird and occult going on about them. But you you just is, is that are we looking at photos? No, you're actually in the gallery. They're actually oh at right. the gallery. There's some of them. all right. So I, I'll I mean I guess while they're I mean I want to yeah, kind of could... uh, 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 study them and try to mm-hmm. you know attune. Yeah. Uh yeah, you can give me a. I'll use. In fact, I'll use my hunch. Okay. Uh, you use your hunch, and um, you realize every single one of them. Um, the obviously Gertrude must have dictated how they were presented uh, and set up in this gallery. Um, and each of them, uh, all the eye lines of all the animals are looking in the exact same direction. Um, mm-hmm. and you 
uh, there is one of them. Uh, the deer and are the headlights. Uh, sculpture for lack of a better term mm -hmm. uh you look through the window through where it is looking at and you know that it is looking at a particular stretch of highway in um that is uh quite busy and a stretch of highway that you have been to before where there is a lot of uh well a lot of uh deer get hit by cars there uh okay. there is a good amount of roadkill there that all of the animals are looking at that point? Is that what it looks like? Yes. So if we hung around here long enough, we could probably watch a deer get hit at that same location? Well, if you, you'd have to... Like, it's, uh, right now, it's like barely on the horizon. Um, Elias knows that it's that place because he's familiar with that stretch of highway. Mm -hmm. And again, he's sort of like inspired by the uh the presence of these things sort of on I'll, intuitive level. I'll kind of I'm gonna kind of nudge Alan um and mm -hmm. with with his camera and say and kind of point say uh, uh you know see if you can take photos from each of these sculptures perspectives and you know let's confirm yeah. that confirm the uh what is that is that a parallax that we're doing where it, to see mm -hmm. where they meet yeah, you can give me a filmmaker check. Sure. See if we can do it. Mm -hmm. I believe in you, amateur filmmaker. Thank you. I did it. I'm very good at standing in front of things and taking a picture. <laughs> yep. So proud of you. Um, <laughs> That's yeah, where the no talent really comes in. Uh, you, you do. It's a specific point on the highway. Um, and yeah, so you know where that place is. Uh, now you don't know much about it other than, you know, Elias knows that it's a busy section of highway. Um, but you have to go there to investigate further. Sorry. Uh, so we're on your way to meet up with Gertrude at a very trendy locavore artisanal beast so, pub. Uh, just to talk about like unknown armies mechanic. Like if mm -hmm. you took a supernatural identity, Neil Breen enthusiast, and you just have knowledge of all the most secret government and corporation secrets, like, that's like mm -hmm. a legit thing you could do? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Anyway, back to the restaurant. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, like, you could use Neil Breen movies as a form of fortune telling, or essentially, <laughs> like, reading the clouds or the uh, the stars. Uh, I mean, it's about as... Yeah, God, it's... Neil Breen movies is a form of fortune telling. <laughs> <laughs> Next yeah. year you're going to be telling me we use Uwe Bowl movies to uh, cast ritual magic. I mean... Uh, Don't Uwe Bowl movies cast ritual magic themselves? Yeah. <laughs> They're cursed. Only if you box them for it. Uh, yeah, somehow they, they managed to keep him afloat despite making no money and having terrible critical review. Well, See? So that means there's hope for you, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. He just needs to get tax credits from the German government. Uh, That's true. So... Um, Claire is going to the, the Bistro Prob. Uh, Alan and Elias, are you going as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I'll go. I, I'm, I'm, I guess mostly I'm interested to see if she makes any claims that ring false uh, sure. claims about uh, the Bone Man and his whole lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you, you get there. Uh, you see Gertrude, she's uh, middle aged, uh, dressed very fashionably though, and she is already has a glass of red wine by the time you get to the table. Um, there's a bottle. Actually, there's a bottle there and there's a couple. Uh, she uh, has one glass uh, ready for Clara, but she didn't realize that you two were going, but she quickly summons a waiter to bring two more glasses. Uh, so she's like, oh, I, I looked up some of your art while uh, um before I took this meeting and I just have to say it's, I'm really excited about the idea of doing a collab, uh, seeing that your style in 3d with real, um, uh, like adding some machinery to it. I think, I think it could be quite, uh, quite. Yeah, it trendy. sounds terrifyingly delightful. <laughs> um, so yeah, she is, uh, quite chatty and, uh, once is very inquisitive about you, Claire. Uh, so you realize, you're going to have to sort of steer the conversation into something interesting uh, through, you know, mm -hmm. conversation. So you could use, uh, I guess, social media manager. Actually. Yeah. Can yeah. can I use my ability on social media manager to evaluate her isolation? Sure. Oh, I failed that. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
she is uh yeah, it doesn't seem very isolated at all, as, as far as you can tell. Like, uh, quite the bon vivant. Well, know. yeah, I guess I was kind of looking for isolation, like weakness is. Yeah. So, like, I just don't see it, I suppose. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, that's another mechanical feature. And um, you can uh, always coerce meters on people, basically attacking one of their meters. Uh, hmm. like if you threaten somebody with a weapon, you're coercing violence. Um, but you can also do it for self or isolation and helplessness, um, or, un- well, unnatural is harder to do because, you know, uh, you need a source but, of a natural. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you can also evaluate these meters uh, to see how vulnerable they are to it and evaluating is obviously sort of, uh, there, but that's, um, Wait, what do you do to evaluate? Uh, I believe connect would work. Uh, you'd have to choose what meter you want to uh, do, um, or okay. if you have an identity that has that special feature. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd, I, I'm pretty. Yeah, I'll just do connect. I, I don't stop the game to look it up. To look, look it up. up. Yeah. yeah. Sure. That's sure. fine. Yeah. I have the defense and attacks written on my gear. Yeah. Too. Okay. Yeah, those are very helpful. Thank you very much. Um, sure. Because I just copied your sheet to do my sheet. <laughs> Uh, so um, if you want to roll that, you can. Uh, or Alan and uh, Elias, you can, you can, yeah, you, you can evaluate her on a meter, or you could uh, try and. Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, yeah, you could use your bartender thing. Exactly, because I'm used to looking for who needs someone to talk to to try to leech out mm-hmm. those extra tips. So. Sure. Yep, thirteen out of fifty. <laughs> Okay, are you trying to evaluate uh, her isolation meter, or are you going to try and chat her up? Um, I'm going to evaluate. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, actually, she is uh, fairly isolated, you realize. Uh, that's why mm-hmm. she's so starved for conversation with other mm-hmm. artists. Um, okay, yeah. well, I'm not exactly a nice person, so um, mm-hmm. I'm going to push her on isolation then. Mm-hmm. Um, and since we're artists, I'm just going to use my um, fairy porn artist because it substitutes for status, which I believe attacks isolation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't know what this looks like, so let's just do it. She'll get a chance to Nine. resist. Um, yeah. And I pretty sure. So you're, uh, you're kind of bringing your uh, bringing your experiences as a. Mm-hmm. As a furry I've seen artist. so much shit getting commissions. To, to, as a furry uh, how artist. is this doing? It's coercing her sense of isolation. So you're kind of what threatening, uh, uh, doing something to imply that um, she's going to lose her like, connections. Yeah, if she's like ever going to be relevant to anyone, like she really wants to um, do whatever I want, essentially. Like I'm really playing up the imbalance of power in this relationship this is, of this is suddenly a hard wall kind of a wine meet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, she defends that um, because she rolled uh, connect without going to work. She's not hardened to violence at all uh, because, or she's got a very low. Uh, well, I mean, you don't know this, but that's why she's able to do. She defends. Uh, let's see, defends with connect, and her connect is very high. Uh, so, oh, I want to so, use my. So you successfully yeah. attack, but she's successfully defeated. Okay. Yeah. Uh, can, uh, can I use my second hunch, flipping the digits to um, to use connect to gauge mm-hmm. whether she's hardened at all to the unnatural? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Okay, that'll if flipping the digits that'll succeed then. Okay, with that you realize, uh, yeah, she has seen some weird shit. Um, not not as much as any probably any of you. I don't know. I don't remember what all your unnaturals are, but uh, oh, I haven't seen any weird shit. Okay, except yeah. for normal weird shit. Yeah. Uh, so she has uh, as a veteran three, free born artist. Three, yeah, mm-hmm. three unnatural notches. Um, you're guessing she's had uh, the 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 bone man. Um, has her exposure to the bone man has uh, exposed her to the unnatural. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay, okay. She's not super hardened, but she's got some hardening, which is well, it would take hardened. some effort to spook her with a supernatural. Right. Yeah, you have to be at least an unnatural four, which is mm-hmm. uh, if we look at that, uh, do a natural stress. Uh, he successfully attacked with magic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, which none of you really know anything right. about magic per se as yet. Like you don't know about adepts and avatars yet. So, uh, in unknown yeah, darkness, it has to be something. It, had to, it would have to be something really explicit, yeah. basically. 
to, yeah. to freak her out. Yeah, we'd have to do direction. real magic against her. Yeah. yeah. Which um, I think Which actually, Elias, you do have ritual magic, so you, but that's like old school, like drawing, you know, pentagrams and chanting for hours and like stuff. You oh, read. I was curious what that actually yeah. meant in terms of gameplay. Those, uh, those ritual features. ritual magic is uh, I forget where it is, but basically it is. Uh, how, how, I guess what I mean is how much how much I I could draw on those, you know? Yeah. Um, from that yeah. identity basically something about it relates to performing magic rituals like um you could exercise some, well if depending on what sort of tradition you would know about but basically mm-hmm. it would be like things that take time and energy to do um mm-hmm. like you could summon bloody mary and expect it to work uh because probably your kind of magic is stuff that you know you know uh ho- things that homeless people have taught you about and that kind of things like uh, probably like you know oh dousing like uh you could probably find water or something like that you could find suchinoko yeah um or yeah 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 suchinoko is real um and or you could exercise someone you know or attempt to um because you probably okay. you know yeah uh, oh, so yeah. c- we could have tried to um, exercise the curse of Paul. Um, that well, I, I would say Elias, because he rolled a thirty-three on his thing, would know that his his mm. mojo isn't nearly strong enough to lift this curse. You're gonna have to okay, but that's one of the things ritual magic could do if we were good at it. Yeah, but it would. It, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he's obviously very minor and stuff like that. So um, there, there's more information about it. But basically, you can kind of like. Oh, I would know this kind of ritual, and then we'll mm-hmm. I'll help you come up with the terms for it. But it would take time okay. and effort. You can't just yeah. cast things on the spot. Um, okay. Yeah. And then gutter magic. It says I found a reference that says it's you yeah. can improvise low level rites that when performed with enough belief. Yeah. Again, that's, that would also be like in the world. Yeah. Summoning Bloody Mary. And then you're going to key that to the the nature of the identity. Yeah. Okay. That's good. All right. Or, or yeah, contact the devil at the, at the, at a contact the devil at a, um, mm-hmm. that midnight at a, a forked road, that kind of thing. Sure. So, okay. Uh, yeah, magic kind that. of stuff. So, um, anyways, yeah, so that's what that is. Uh, so you're still talking Gertrude. Um, you, Bridget, did you, did Claire make that role to, yeah, no, you, you tried to, uh, I successfully attacked. She successfully defended. Yeah. So conversation going on. Gertrude seems pretty interested in this collaboration. Uh, it, it, she is getting. I, I am sorry to interrupt. I am while we're while they're talking. I'm going to start um, kind of doodling the uh, that tag, the bone okay. bands tag that we studied. I'm going to start doodling that and sure. focusing on it. Okay. Uh, so you're just kind of uh, tuning out, uh, trying yeah. to essentially divide more information about it. Um, are you angry? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm focusing on her, okay. but not on the conversation. You know, I'm so not staring at her, but it's like, yeah. Yeah. So are you, you're, I assume you're going to be like angling your drawing so that she can. Yeah. I'm, 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 well, not, I mean, not really what I'm, okay. what I'm aiming toward eventually is to use that as a way, as a, as a kind of a, a gutter magic way to, um, to tune her awareness into the harm that's being done to actual people through okay. her connection to the bone man. Okay. Um, that'll so, take some time to do. So yeah, exactly. That that's I just wanted okay. to kind of get it out there. That's what, that's what you can, people can see me doing visually okay. as they're talking. Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, let's see here. Um, Alan, um, you know, she's quite isolated. Mm-hmm. Uh, so let's see here. So her, She's got several failed notches in that, and she let's see what is isolation. Isolation defends with uh, connect. Um, so yeah, she's been under a lot of stress. Uh, yeah, so her connect is fairly high, but she obviously must have made some failed rolls on that. So um, yeah, um, yeah. Let's see here. So let's. What does that status defend with status? Uh, what do you, yeah, so actually her helplessness would actually, uh, defend with status. Uh, yeah, she's fairly high status, um, fairly high on connect as well. Um, 
but uh, obviously that means she's very vulnerable to vi- things that are violence and um because she is obviously not used to uh that we do have a violence expert is, is, yeah is struggle <laughs> just threatening violence uh it could it's it's yeah uh some sort of explicit or implicit threat so um it could be as much as pointing a weapon or it could be just talking. It just depends. Yeah, you don't have to physically do anything. You could just make a credible threat like I'm but the but it's but it's a threat of mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a physical threat right. of some kind. Okay. Uh, so um yeah. Yeah, so, um let's just like let's just try straight up asking her about the bone man first. Be like, mm-hmm. Hey, can you just tell us about this dude? Because like he sounds really creepy and like people in my um my fields are like really into gore lately. And so like, I just need that source of inspiration, you know, like I really got to like mm. get the commission. Cause like, if you yeah. do like, like a fucked up commission, like people pay you tons of money. She kind sure. of freezes up for a second. So like, how, how did you hear that name? Uh, how did we hear this name? Um, I, I mean, I, we, it, actually, what or... actually happened is I recognized the description of him. Right. I'd be well, like, oh, yeah, we've heard knows. of we've heard of him before. Like he's <laughs> he's pretty. Well, just go blunt, be like he cursed our friend. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, how did you know that I've dealt with him? Who who talked to you? Who told you that? His mark is all over your artwork. Like, it's not hidden. Did you think he did a good job? Uh, she looks very nervous. Um, did you, you didn't tell anybody else. Uh, um, it would, it would be, uh, bad if, uh, that were, if you were to misinform people about, um, my artwork is original. Uh, I'm not, you know, cribbing my style from anybody, but. Uh, just um, so you can give me a uh, veteran furry porn artist uh, check. Uh, of course, yeah. <laughs> I've I've been saving this ability. Yeah. Uh, so is that critical? Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. So no, you realize you have her at this point uh, because uh, what she is scared, terrified of, uh, is being called a plagiarist. Uh, and if it is revealed, she was had been talking to a homeless person. Who, uh, so, uh, who is clearly an outsider artist of some type, mm. basically stealing his style to then sell in expensive art galleries. Ah, so we're going to velvet buzzsaw her. <laughs> yeah, essentially. Um, yeah, that's what she's been doing. Although apparently the Bone Man's still alive, not you know dead. Uh, so, well, the Bone Man is apparently like getting something from her to like. Mm-hmm. So I think that's what I asked. I'd be like, what is what is he getting out of this? Because obviously you're just straight up stealing his style. Not that I'm going to tell everyone. Anyone. <laughs> no, never. Um, yeah. But what does I, he get out of it? What are you giving him? Um. Well, it, it's it's different things. Sometimes it's money. Um. Sometimes, uh, if I, if I need to talk to him, if I need inspiration, and he's always very inspiring. Um. Oh, I'm I, sure. It, it's to find his yard. It's it's not. It's not just like a place you can go to normally. You have to be shown the way. And I don't know if I should tell you how to go there. I mean, I don't know if he, you are, you're not going to, you're not, you're not going to cause trouble for him. Are you? I'm not going to cause trouble for anybody as long as you help us get there. Um, I mean, you, you can't, uh, if, if, if I were to bring people with bad intent to the yard, it would be, it would be awful as it would be I, I, look it's chill we just want to talk with him okay listen um, you're getting inspiration for your art i want to get inspiration for my art and we just yeah yeah it's, don't it's, tell it's, anybody this arrangement okay we're all a community <laughs> okay yeah we're um, best friends you and me um yeah yeah he you have to get um like a dog um get it from a shelter um and then uh somewhere near the highway in in the city uh and then just um let it go um because you have to find the pack first and find the pack you have to follow um uh, the new member so the 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 dog 
will know where the pack is and go to it and you follow the dog and then then you have to you have to cross over and if you trust in the dog you'll be safe but uh if not it's it's not um I, to be honest, I just close my eyes. I just, I just, I just hold on to the dog, uh, or just I stay near the dog. Uh, make sure it's not on the leash, though. It has to be a free dog, um, and then I make it to the other side. Okay. So, All right. Uh, we never had this lunch. I never want to hear from you again. And as long as I don't, I won't tell anybody what's going up. What? But our collaboration. Uh yeah, your stuff's gross and trite. Later. <laughs> okay. Let's see I watched filming her time. reaction and then leave. <laughs> All right. Uh Yeah, she doesn't handle that well. Uh she <laughs> she, she is uh, uh Elias, you can make um if you want to if you want to also dump on her with gutter magic, uh you can make a roll as well, but Well, yeah, <laughs> when we were leaving, what I was I, I want I want to um she's been drink like the glass that she's been drinking out of. Yeah. The napkin that I I'm going to take the napkin that I've been doodling this thing on really carefully mm-hmm. and use it to like wipe uh her, you know, her lip a, 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 her, a smear of her lipstick or or mm-hmm. you know, saliva or something from the mm-hmm. from the glass and then okay. To, uh, to kind of charge it. I mean, not in a technical game sense, but you know what I mean. And okay. and put that in front of her and uh, say, uh, you know, you're a he he's he's a he's a predator, and you're his parasite, and you're helping him to do harm. And okay. I want to use try to use that use the the gutter magic to put that in her brain and make her feel the full sense of the the curse that's been put on our friend and how deadly it is. Yeah, uh, yeah. Give me a give me a roll. I'm about to destroy this woman's whole career. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> possibly, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we we okay. Flip. Do a flip. Okay. You so, can't... yeah. Sorry. So I have a rage against human predators. Oh, can you? You can only flip flop once a session. Um, I have a noble well, for always there in a crisis. Can I use that to flip it? Because I'm trying well, to the help. The thing me. is, this is uh, attuned to the language of clouds, which is your obsession. Um, and because it's oh, because you can you can flip it any time. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. So that's a 59, which succeeds. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that yeah. Uh, if this, uh, if you follow up in a month later, yeah, her career is over. She stops producing work. So uh, yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, you stopped the parasite. <laughs> All right. So. so yeah, she is just left stunned there. Um, as Great job, team. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, let's roll up to the shelter. over this artist. Um, well, as you, as you get out though, um, Alan, uh, you get a, mm-hmm. uh, a call from Stephanie. Yeah. Hello. Uh, you need to get here. Um, there's something outside the house. What is it? I don't oh, know. It's fumbling for my keys. Yeah, uh, you you hear something batter against the door, um, and she hangs up, or the yeah, the line goes dead. All right, we got to get back home. Okay. All right. Uh, so Alan, I assume are you going to mm-hmm. like run red lights, or are you going to drive safely and legally? Um, I will go away with your red lights i don't know but yeah we're gonna we're gonna push it a little bit but i don't want to okay. get pulled over obviously like that uh let's see. ruins the whole do you want to film i'll drive <laughs> uh this would be pers- <laughs> you know how to drive yeah yeah uh let me drive <laughs> okay right, this would be a pursuit role because none of you are like you know stunt drivers okay um so, can I use my uh, ability loyalty? Yes, that would definitely work. Uh, I'm going to switch that to a 47, and uh, my pursuit is 55, and I'm driving super reckless. Yeah. Uh, so yeah you, you did run... drive under 55. Hey. Yeah, just think of this as a thrilling chase scene. Uh, it is, as you are trying to get there uh, in time. And, um, yeah, when you when you get there, uh, there is a, a lot of blood on the steps leading up to the house. The house is like two stories, and the uh, steps go the 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 front doors on the there's like a porch. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. 
uh, up on the, so you have to walk up to the second floor to get in the, the main house. So, um, but yeah, there's blood stains on the stairs leading up to the front door. Um, shaky hands really, really pushing the image stabilization to its limits. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we'll just run through a gift stabilizer later. It's fine. Um, so you head to the front door or the brunch trail seems to be going around to the back. Uh, you do all know that there is a glass door in the back. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I mean, I heard banging when she called. Does it yeah. look like any of the windows have been broken or is like the door? Um, no, the the okay. front door does have several dents in it um, and scratch mm-hmm. marks. Um, very but it's large been one. knocked in? It has not been knocked in. It's held. Um, um, but the back door probably doesn't. So well, let's go look well, at the back door. Okay, so you all run around the back door, um, and you see, uh, well, a deer, but a deer that is uh, crawling on its front two legs, um, and its back leg, it looks like it's been hit hit by a vehicle um, as it is limping along, but it is also frothing at the mouth, its eyes are milky white, and uh, it you, the smell of stench uh, is is very strong um you're you almost all gag instantly um and uh even though it looks like it's been hit by car it is moving quite fast towards the uh or, or you know shambling towards the glass uh back door uh which it is you know it has large horns um yeah so can i uh, use a uh, struggle uh this is definitely a, a natural four uh, to see a, uh, you know, what should be a dead animal, uh, not be dead. Uh, I, I would assume a natural four. Let me double check. So do you have to make that if you have? If you have a natural your... four already, you don't have to make a roll. So okay, you're already there. So yep. Um. Okay. Well, I failed that. So can I just do? You could Bubbing. use another. You could use one of your passions to flip that. Um, well, one of my one of you. So it's panic, freeze, or like frenzy. Yeah. So I'm just gonna frenzy. I'm gonna. Right, I'm gonna tear this deer out. Fail the natural notch. And, it's a demon uh, deer. Get it. Yeah. Um. You're like, fuck you, deer. Demon deer. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Fuck you, evil dead. Um, so should I roll s- struggle? Um. Wait. Uh, did anybody else fail? Uh, neither of us have to roll. Okay, yeah. Only, only. All right, yeah. Uh, never mind. Um, so we'll just go. Yeah, and um, uh, yeah, Claire, you can go first. Uh, okay, I guess six. Okay, what are you doing? What are you attempting to do? Um, using struggle, I'm gonna step on the back of its neck since it's crawling, grasp mm-hmm. it by the antlers, and like kind of twist its head off. Okay. Uh, Jesus. All right, it is going to oppose you. I would hope so. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll kind sure. of take a step back and momentarily. And say, All right, oh, it's, God. yeah, it is. Uh, it succeeds. Uh, it, you made a successful attack, but again, it rolled higher without going over. Uh, so it throws you off uh, and knocks you to the ground. Um, and yeah, it despite it being, you know, uh, it, it, yeah, it, it should not have the strength to do that, but it did somehow. Um, so you're you have the wind knocked out of you, um, Alan. What are you gonna do? Wait, like uh, I get punished for a successful defense? Um, I'm no, not angry or anything. I just want to know, like, no, how it, it it beat it. Combat grapple. works in this you, game. You tried to grapple it. It it defe- defeated you. So uh, okay, okay. You're, you're you're not like you didn't take any damage. You just okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for the knife next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, I was gonna go help. Alan's turn. Yeah, I was gonna go help Claire up then if okay. she got knocked down and. All right, you, you'll be able to act next round then, Claire. Uh, Elias, are you going to do anything? Uh, you do have that pepper spray. Oh, that's right. It's, it's a zombie deer. But this this is know. like... Fine, I'll try to pepper spray the, the zombie deer. <laughs> All right, uh, struggle would work for that. All right. It is point and click, essentially. Uh, that is not going to succeed at struggle. All right. Well, you know, it's <laughs> yeah, you, you miss it. Uh, yeah. somehow I'm not uh, getting close to that thing. Yeah, the range on it is not too great. You you kind of right. angle it too low. 
it just hits the ground um so there'll be you know uh so yeah um it stopped it is uh turning towards you um so it has been its turn you know turning around essentially um mm-hmm. but it's got its horns uh pointed at uh claire and alan's direction so uh facing mm-hmm. it head on may be bad now um, i i loved the lawrence boss fight in uh bloodborne yeah so <laughs> Um, yeah, if you do, this will be uh, essentially an opposed struggle. If you try and melee attack it with a knife, it will melee attack with its horns, and whoever wins that will inflict damage on the other. So, um... Uh, well, I assume I'm, as a, as a frenzy, uh, I just pull my knife and, like, fucking jump at it, because that's my response to this trauma, so... Um, yeah, I mean, you could, you could also, yeah, you could throw your knife at it, you could, uh, whip out the pepper spray... <laughs> I'm not going to throw my knife. It's expensive. Okay, yeah. Uh, this is a post struggle check. All right, well, I make my struggle check. Okay. So, it, uh, it... You both succeed, but because you rolled higher without going over, you succeed. So, you avoid the antlers. Uh, what is your violence, uh, Harden? Not your Nine. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're... <laughs> yep, this is, this is fine. This is fine. <laughs> yes, this is nothing. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're, you're, yeah, those are very sharp horns, but you don't clearly, eh, whatever, you don't care. So, um, yeah, you inflict, uh, you stab it, uh, in the neck, uh, blood rushes out, um, and it, it buckles a bit, uh, it clearly affected it. So, um, what are you got, uh, Alan and Elias, what are your violence meters at? Um, less than that one, one, four. <laughs> Uh, I'll say seeing your friend stabbing a deer in the neck is a violence too. So, Alan, give me a violence check. Uh, defend with fitness. Okay. Yep. I fail. Yep. Uh, Jesus Christ, Claire. The yeah, there's a lot of blood. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Uh, you're not sure if that's all uh, the deers or hers. So, um. What are you going to do? Uh, well, yeah, you get your choice of panic, uh, paralysis, or frenzy. You could just get off my friend and like, <laughs> pick up a rock in the backyard and bash its head in. Yeah. Okay. Let's do that or panic and drop my camera. Yeah. Which one do you want to do? Yeah. Well, uh, the GoPro doesn't matter because GoPros are tough. Well, you, I was gonna, you could paralyze, and you, all you can do is keep filming. Cause that's that's true. Well, I could do that. Oh, yeah. That would be my yeah, natural you're, response. You're just I didn't want to do paralysis twice in a row, but sure, that makes that yeah. still makes sense. All right, yeah. Uh, Elias, what are you gonna do? <laughs> oh wow. Um, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I've got I've still got control of myself, so I'm not gonna keep pepper spraying because I'll just pepper mm-hmm. spray Claire. Um, so so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll look for the big. The pepper spray is a club, well, like or something a, to a, bash the uh, the skull on. You got nice. Nah, I don't want to break. No, I don't want to. I'll wind up spraying myself if I do something like that. <laughs> I mean, you could fail. Yeah, that's definitely. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna get like a brick or or okay. something, and uh, um and try yeah. to get in there and and uh, steal myself and uh, you yeah. know and uh, um, prison lump this thing. The deer can only counterattack one person, so yeah, you get a free attack on it, essentially. So go ahead and make your struggle check um, as you uh, pick up a rock and... Uh, uh, 47. No. Okay. Unless I get yeah. the giant bonuses. Yeah, yeah I, I'm still... I do not want to get close to any part of that thing. It's That's, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's gross. No, it's, uh, Claire, you're getting a lot of blood on you, but yeah. Um, it's, it's That's something new. <laughs> you're it's weakening uh but uh go and make your attack roll again i assume you're gonna keep shanking <laughs> i'm gonna stab it until one of us stops moving okay um, um well that will fail uh that fails and that will not fail so um it gores you is there is there anything she could do to flip that uh she can use one of her passions um I don't think any of my passions fit. Okay. Um, yeah, so you get gored. Um, now, one thing is I don't tell you how many uh, points of damage uh, you take from something. You just have to have somebody with medical skills evaluate you or hope for the best. Uh, but it's not a super... Well, I mean, yeah, again, it's hard to tell. You do know it breaks I've had worse. 
Yeah, it, it did and, break and the she, camera. And she's too. still in a frenzy, right? So um, she's probably not even... Pin- or is that faded by now? Um, it's still going on. I mean, you do have some discretion on how you fight. You don't have to just mindlessly attack. You can, you're, you're focused on killing it, but um, mm-hmm. you, you, you do... You are pushed back by the gore, um, so you're not uh, right up on it. You can see it is bleeding out. So um, you could just step back and wait for it to attack you um, or wait to see if it even has the strength to do that. Um, but that was your action. Uh, Alan, you're still paralyzed filming it all. Uh, okay. And Elias, uh, you can make an attack. Uh, yeah. Uh, eight will succeed that time. Yeah, you hit it. Um and uh it that stuns it um it it sort of uh let's see here yeah um it it uh is too weak to continue fighting it it starts uh it's trying it, it knocks it its head down you knock its head down to the ground it picks its head up but it's too weak to like it's two legs the other remaining two legs uh buckle under and it, it's struggling to get out but it can't yeah, um, so I'll sort of throw the brick down at it and s- stumble backwards. And... Okay. Uh, Claire, are you all right? Can I put it, it out of its you. misery? Um, Elias did with the brick. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Claire, yeah, you're bleeding. Uh, there's a lot of blood on you. Some of it's yours, some of it's it. The it's just a little bit of blood. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do we treat being stabbed in this game? Um, if somebody has a medical skill or like that's a feature of an identity, uh, you can use that. Uh, I will mm-hmm. say Paul has it, um, because he works in animal control and he's had to bandage up, you know, bite wounds and that kind of thing. I so, can been stitched up by a vet before. Yep. So let's see how Paul does. Uh, yeah, I was gonna go try to check on them. Yeah, yeah you go in there. Uh, that is enough. His skill is sixty. Um, so he stops the bleeding. Um, yeah. Thanks, Paul. I really appreciate this. Did, sorry, were, yeah. did I miss something? Did Paul and Stephanie come outside when they heard the fighting? Uh, they were watching from the back door. Uh, they get oh, into okay, the, into okay, the last door, but they were both horrified right. by what it was. And like, um, Stephanie is holding a revolver, uh, but you know she doesn't know how to shoot. Uh, so or she's taking it to a firearms range once. Yeah, so it would have been iffy on if that was effective. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, yeah. You, she does not have an identity that provides firearm attacks. She's not had like military or any training. Right, right. Okay. So uh, yeah, they come out. Uh, they have first aid kits. You have a lot of shallow puncture wounds in your like uh, stomach and uh, uh, area, but uh, mm-hmm. none of them were uh, super bad. So hopefully they heal okay. Uh, hey, Alan, you should get video of this. Oh, you don't have to tell me thrice. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a, a, a buck. This is a large deer. Um, and uh, yeah, it uh, is already rotting. Um, or it was already rotting when it was moving around. So yeah, zombie mm-hmm. deer, uh, for lack of a better term. Um, yeah. Uh, they, 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 Stephanie just says, you know, it. I heard something shuffling around and then it battered against the door. And then I called you and I dropped the phone. Um, and then it started moving away. And, um, I was too scared to think to call you back, but, uh, it just was, I could hear it moving around the, the, the side of the house, uh, uh, coming towards the back door, I guess. Nah, it's cool. We got it. Yeah, I guess. Um, listen, listen, Stephanie, it's chill. It's going to be fine. We're going to take care of this. None of this is going to happen anymore. You can go back to your day job and it'll be peachy keen, okay? Yeah. Uh, Paul is just mute. He is just oh, what the... F- yeah, he is uh, you know, do they, yard stairs, kind of. Yeah. Do they want to, like, stay at my place? Like, do they not want to stay here? Um. Yeah. If, you, if you're offered, they'll, they'll definitely go. I mean, I don't, I don't have as nice a place as Stephanie, but it's... Yeah. Uh, not yeah. haunted by zombie animals, I guess. Yeah. I've been right, over to got that going for it. Friday, yeah. it's pretty cool. Uh, do you have a? Do you have like a? Are you renting like a house or do you have like an apartment? I have an apartment over the bar I work at. 
Oh, okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> sure. So you do that. Uh, I mean, I have so a couch I'm... and a bed, and mm-hmm. so they'll yeah, be fine. They'll be staying here. I guess uh, I'll gather my things too. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, of course, yeah. Hey, Alan, can I get a sour from downstairs? I got stabbed earlier. Sure. Uh, yeah, they have mm-hmm. a, a sea quench. Uh, mm-hmm. So you can get a dogfish sea quench. Uh, I want to take you. Yeah. I'm going to take Paul aside and and tell him we need um we need a we need a dog. Um. Uh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> a uh, you know, probably a friendly one that'll uh, that'll hang out with us and and uh, won't run off the uh, you know if we give him some beef jerky for a while he'll he'll stick by us through thick and thin that's what we need what wh- 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 why i'll kind of look at him like he's crazy and say <laughs> because of your curse uh, oh okay um yeah i know someone i know some people who work at a shelter that, yeah um uh let me make a call um uh let's see uh yeah uh he gives you the name of an address of a shelter uh yeah uh ashley's there uh there's a there's a couple of uh uh mutts there um yeah you you can you can go and get a get, get a dog get a... all right good thank you mm-hmm. uh good call there so um yeah, so what is that what you're doing next, or you want to do anything else before you go? Um, Assuming that we can get Paul and Stephanie all settled in, then... Yeah. I yeah, don't think but, we have any other leads, right? I'm not... Um, yeah, no, let's you look at the Well, you also... Well, the other lead would go, be going back to Sunrise Acres. Um, mm. Is there any clues there? I mean, we've, we've been told where we can go to uh, to find his, his magical happy land. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And more or less how to get there, get into mm-hmm. it. So I think that's what we need to do to figure yep. to try to find him and get him to put a stop to this. Okay. So uh, you go to the shelter. Um, you you knock on the door. There is a woman there, uh, Ashley. Uh, she, hey. Uh, hi. Um, you, Paul called. Said you needed a dog. Yeah. Um, I live in an apartment. By myself, you know, and so I've just need some companionship oh. lately. So I was oh. hoping to get like you know maybe like a little furry fl- friend to keep the nights a little less you know like lonely. We said you needed it now, and like normally there's like paperwork and stuff like that. Uh, but I mean, if Paul's calling as a favor, so I guess she's can... really good with animals. Okay, um, Claire, <laughs> are, are, you, are you trying to flirt with Ashley? Um, of course, I'm trying to flirt with Ashley. <laughs> okay, uh, roll social media expert. I assume you're you're using that to try and flirt to, with her to appear like a normal human being. Yep. Yeah, thirty. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ashley is quite cooperative, and uh, you know, uh, if you have any problems, uh, you can call me on uh, my number here. Um, I, 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 yeah, I. The, the, the... Yeah, let me just text you to make sure it's the right one. Okay. Yeah, it's the right number. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Ashley is someone who works outdoors, uh, uh, you know, a lot. Uh, Ooh, I can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, she says, great. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you uh, at some point about this. Uh, what's the name of the dog, by the way? Um, I'll let you all name. Uh, Calamity? Dog. Calamity, yes. Calamity the dog. Um I I hope you and Calamity uh, hit it off. Uh, so yeah, there's there's uh, Calamity. Is yeah, you should come by sometime and check and see how they're doing. Sure, sure, of course. Um, so you uh, get Calamity. Um, he's a mid-sized mutt, um, and he you know seems pretty friendly. Um, I think immediately start feeding him. You know, whatever we have, we, we bought a bunch of those supplies, so we'll start feeding in beef jerky. We've so only had calamity for an hour. Yeah, yeah. but if <laughs> we're already just and I will kill everyone in this room and then myself. <laughs> yeah, we'll right. yeah. Uh, so Elias, you know, um, yeah, that you have to give up calamity though if you want to fall. Like he will join the pack uh, in order to find this place. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, not if we end the dude who has it. <laughs> okay. Then we get all the dogs. Yeah, that, I mean, that's an option. Um, I can't wait to take like a bunch of dogs home. <laughs> wait, if if I become the new Bone Man, do I get all the dogs? That's true, you do. <laughs> okay. All right, let's so, do this. I think that's in their charter. <laughs> yeah, uh, that, that is how that works. So, um, Calamity. I'm looking at the Calamity, it says Calamity. He looks back. I love you more than life itself. And you're going to be tempted to run with a bad crowd. But I want you to remember me. And I want you to remember your friends. And I want you to come back at the end of this. Can you do this for me, Calamity? Can you be a good boy? Uh, he barks. I knew it, Calamity. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll social media expert for the dog, too. See how well you connect to it. <laughs> We're oh, yeah, start your, easy. Calamity, you're going to get your own Instagram account. We're going to. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make an Instagram for Calamity. It's just going to be tons of pictures of the goodest boy. <laughs> okay. So um, you get Calamity um, and you uh, take him off his leash um, near the highway that you pointed out. Uh, and he kind of takes a step and sniffs the air. Uh, and then he just starts trotting off towards uh, the point. So uh, I assume all three of you uh, are following. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, He gets to the highway. And of course, you know, they have those barriers and stuff like that. But there's like a break in them. Like Mm -hmm. someone's like destroyed all the uh, barriers at the way to create this open path um, straight to the highway. And it's night, but it's like rush hour busy. Um, There's just cars passing. And you can see on the other side of the highway, there's another there's another break in the barriers. Um, like somebody has purposefully opened them up and calamity sniffs the airs, uh, sniffs, the, sniffs the air for a bit. Um, and then on the other side of the highway, you see, uh, several pairs of glowing eyes, other dogs, uh, looking back and he looks back at you. Calamity looks back at you for a moment and then goes forward and just walks, starts trotting across the highway. And, um, while all the cars are going. So, uh, since you've all bonded with him, everyone, uh, this is a helplessness too, uh, to see your new dog, uh, cross a busy highway like this. Well, we need to cross to go there too, don't we? Uh, yeah, in that case, that's, uh, violent six, because, oh god, this is scary. It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I can do the violence, but I'm, uh, hardened against the helplessness. Okay, yeah, that's clearly that's... I'm hardened against the violence. All right, what's your helplessness at? Um, my helplessness is low enough, but um, I'm using um, veteran furry porn artist. Like okay. animals in uncomfortable situations is something I've seen a lot before. Okay. Um, so that will be a critical success. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah. Uh, so you're fine. You can you cross the highway, uh, and you're keeping up with the dog. So and do just, I get one hardened then in helplessness? Uh, yeah, you do. Excellent. Okay. So so we need to follow. So or do we need to do the violence? Uh, so you need I'm to gonna, do both. I'm gonna uh, Google. What do you, do we know where the rules for burnout are? Um, we'll deal with that after the session. It won't. Yeah, happen. I, I was just gonna yeah. look at it. Yeah, uh, it's somewhere you'd have to uh, just... I'll check the index. Yeah. Um, I don't want to stop and look up rules while I do that. So you have to make both checks if they're applicable. Uh, Let me know if you fail either. All right, violence is, but helplessness is not. Um, Actually, no, I think uh, in Ono Normies, any given situation, you only have to do one. So um, I'll let you choose. Yeah, so if if you're hardened to at least one of them, you're fine. Because it's the uh, same situation. Okay. okay, okay. The then I'm, then I'll, I'll take I'll take my helplessness roll back then because okay. uh, I am hardened against violence. Okay. Um. So yeah. Uh. If you're yeah I, yeah because you, you don't have to make that many rolls. Um. But yeah. Uh, so if uh, all both all three of you are hardened to at least one of those two things. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, both of you, all three of you, um, are managed to keep your shit together to cross with calamity across the highway and cars are whizzing by you and none of them even swerve. Uh, but the timing is like you're playing Frogger on a godlike level of mastery. You just cross uh, 
at the exact right sequence when nothing will pass. Um, it is almost a test of faith or uh, something. Uh, but you, as you as you cross to the other side, um, you know there were streetlights along the highway that were kind of blinding you. You couldn't; everything else was shadow. Uh, but as you cross, the 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 light kind of minimizes, and you you open up. And you can see what's on the other side of the highway. And you don't remember ever seeing this before. Uh, and you think people would notice, but there's this vast uh, wasteland. Um, but there's like huge piles of discarded technology, e-waste in, in piles. There's also um, other, there's, a, there's stacks of furniture uh, set up. There's just... Um, uh, so we've passed you know, into his reality marble. Yeah. Uh everyone give me a notice check. Um, okay. I've watched Fate before. <laughs> uh in Unknown Armies, there is a th- whole thing about thresholds. There are like yeah, pocket realities. Ooh, that is a big fat fumble of noticing for me. I'm okay. obsessively tuning Just... into something less valuable than what we need to know. Barely okay. passed. Okay. Uh yeah, uh, those of you who make it, you realize um, this is, yeah, all like trash and things that have been discarded, uh, but there are people milling about them. That's hard to notice them at first because they're so well, they're wearing rags and things that are sort of almost camouflaged, uh, but they're they're sort of neatly making little uh, uh, structures out of this uh, the, these discarded things um, and sort of sorting them, turning chaos into order. Uh, slowly, but there's also a lot of animals. Um, a lot of, uh, and those of you making your notice check realize these are all like. Well, actually, uh, uh, Claire, did you make your notice check? I did not make my notice check. Is Calamity one of them? Uh, well, Calamity just disappears into a large pack of dogs, and you. I mean, for free, I'll tell you. There's also coyotes, oh. um, and they right. just look at you, and then they just kind of wander off. So Calamity is gone for the time being. Um, part of the pack. Uh, it's okay. We'll get Calamity back. It's all part of the plan. Yeah. Um, Calamity has to be a double agent. He's the bravest <laughs> boy. Oh, <laughs> uh, he really is. Um, there's also, you also do notice there's uh, discarded food. Um, there are dumpsters full of uh, things uh, uh, thrown out from grocery stores and people are sorting and uh, giving that out to others. Um, but yeah, there are these like, for like a better term, scavengers. That are sorting through all this. Um, I like to think of them as recyclers. Yeah, uh, they're very <laughs> much uh, in a recycling spirit. But yeah, this this whole thing kind of defies like the fact that there's clearly no any kind of government presence of any kind here. This this sort of self organized uh, recycling scavenger uh, commune slash well. You don't know how free or open the society is, but they 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 notice the three of you, but they don't seem to really. There's no no one going out. Oh, welcome to our society or anything. You'll have to go and talk mm-hmm. to them, um, or you can wander around and see what else is available. Uh, but you, yeah, you've passed over the threshold. Um, I'll pull out my uh, my drawing and be like, "Hey, we're looking for this guy." Uh, so you go to the first scavenger you see. Yeah. We're not looking to pick a fight or anything. We're just looking for this guy. Does right, my camera yeah. still work in this realm? Sorry. It does. Okay, good. Um, although the lighting is terrible. Uh, for, for some reason, your GoPro isn't picking it up. It is. Everything's kind of low light. There are, mm. they, they are getting electricity, but they're, they didn't, there's not like street lights. There's just like uh, irregular setups of like uh, Christmas lighting, Mm-hmm. occasional like floodlights you know the cheap ones they use to construct Ooh, sites. fairy so, lights yeah. is, there, is there i mean is there a sky above us yeah there is a sky uh it's just dark. dark uh it's very oh, cloudy okay. and dark like you can was see it was it cloudy and dark when we crossed the highway it was actually like full-on night like it was it, was, it actually it seems to be a little earlier than it was before it just seems to be like dusk yeah, okay. That's what I'm that's what I'm obsessively focusing on not paying attention mm. to because I fumbled yeah. my notice roll. Okay. Yeah, you're you're you I mean, yeah, it's like you rewound time by like an hour. It's like mm-hmm. uh uh Alan, you know this is magic hour, but it's uh uh there's a lot <laughs> so yeah. to speak. Yeah. Um but it's it's very dim. Um mm-hmm. so yeah, you uh Claire, you can give me social media expert if you want to like connect to this. Yeah, person. sure. Do you mean the golden hour, Ross? 
Oh, wow. I actually make it. It's actually magic hour. Um, mm-hmm. It could be. I think, I think <laughs> both terms are used. Uh, They're both so, used. <laughs> but magic, you, you know, under no reason, it could be a, a magic you, hour. Uh, Literally yeah. magic hour. <laughs> <laughs> so the scavenger uh, uh, takes off his uh, uh, little... Uh, you know, surgical mask that is very dirty and clearly probably not helping at all. And uh, he's like, "Have you? You look all a bit too recently showered to be joining us. Is is that what you're here for?" Uh, we just want to talk to him. Um, probably going to work out some kind of deal, and then leave. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you here representing the the queen of? Of Camelot, are you here as an enemy? Who, 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 who are you siding with? Um, Queen of Camelot. Uh, is there any? Is there anything that we could like have a clue on that, or just um, a lot of make a check. Uh, uh what? What? Yeah, yeah, can you make a check, and and then what? I have a, I have a good idea. Okay, uh, I'll start paying attention again. And <laughs> Elias, 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 welcome back. Oh, missed you. Snap me? back to reality. Uh, that succeeds at uh, mm-hmm. knowing the language of clouds. Um, you get an image of. Uh, you remember there's a uh, uh, Camelot furniture uh, owned by a uh, woman, um, and suddenly you get that picture in your head. Um, she's awfully. Lo- loyal following of people. Um, you've always suspected she had some kind of secret power. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'll uh, I'll kind of shake my head and say, uh, "No, we don't. We, we we don't need any furniture." Uh, you're you're just outsiders here on your own. Then, uh, the scavenger says. Exactly. Uh, We're just outsiders. What? Sorry. Uh, you're here on your own. You're not here at behest of one of the other lords or powers. No, we have, we're not here at the behest of any of the other lords or powers. Uh, um, let me go and confer. Uh, so he 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 wanders off for a bit. Thanks, buddy. Um, another scavenger comes up to you and is like, um, you know, if you wanted to, do you have anything to trade? Uh, I've got some maize. Ooh, yeah, that that trades. Uh, what what do you want for it? What do you got? Um, uh, well, you look pretty clueless. I could give you some pointers about this place. Sure. Uh, all right, maize first. I'll give you. Here's uh, maize. I'll give you each. I'll give you each a question. How's that? He take he takes the uh, spray. He's like he shakes it a little bit. Ooh, almost full. Yeah. Actually, you what? didn't even use it. It's full. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, it's full. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Each of you get a question. Where can we find the Bone Man? Uh, well, if you want to find, well, um, you can follow. Well, there's a, if you go that way, um, there's the, uh, he's building the temple. He's probably supervising that. Uh, if not, he's out on the patrol, uh, with a pack. Um, you know, there was the, the, they had a, he had a, he, 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 we're days behind schedule now because, uh, uh, some tragedy happened to the pack, and he had to like uh, uh, build a, a cairn uh, for uh, the fallen members uh, where they fell. Uh, uh, but that that's over with now. Um, so yeah, he's probably at the temple, uh, which is the largest structure over there. Um, and yeah, how do we leave? Um, well, leaving's a little harder if you're if you're uh, if you're visitors. Um, you can go exactly the way you came, but um, I don't know what time of day you'll pop out in, and sometimes you may you'll you'll jump you'll you'll be right out on the road, and that can be risky. Um, so the timing that's a little um, we have our own ways, of course, but you got to pay a toll or be a citizen uh, here, and uh, the only way you get citizenship is through the Bone Man. So um, I guess you could bribe somebody for one of the safe passages way through. Um, but I don't know how much more you have to trade for that. So you might want to like keep what you have on you. Uh, Thanks, man. I really appreciate you giving me those free free pointers. Um, well, you asked for the way out. So uh, that's one more question. He looks at Alan. 
Um, probably too direct. I was going to ask if he knows, are the Bone Man's curses permanent? Oh, so that's about it. Oh, you're, wor- oh, I see. You're the friends of the Desecrator then. The Bone Man told uh-huh. us all about it. The Desecrator. The one who desecrated uh, um, the bounty. Yeah, we're beginning to think he's a lost cause. Ah, uh, okay. no, hold on. We can still I get ahead um, of ourselves. I, I don't want to. I don't want to be on Paul's side if they're calling him the desecrator. Yeah, he desecrated Ooh. a bounty, a perfectly good bounty. Um, and uh, but you're part of his uh, of the desecrator's pack, so you can't. It's you, you know part of your your loyalty to your pack. That, that that's not your fault. Um, you weren't there. Yeah, we get roped into stuff sometimes. Yeah, that's, perhaps that's how it was it just a misunderstanding. Well, I mean, I probably the bowman will want to talk to you then uh, to work out a deal um, about that. So, um, yeah, uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, this the curse is kind of new. He, he he tells all about it. There's three parts: um, the the stench, uh, then the rage, and then uh, then then the next thing will be the light. And the, after that, oof, that's it. Um, uh, well, we've seen two of those, and they're really cool. Okay, yeah. Well, the light—that's it. That's the end of it, because that'll be the end of your friend, uh, the desecrator. Um, I, be... I, have a, I have an out of character question. Mm-hmm. The um, we came we came across that highway, mm-hmm. right, and then came in here. So, looking back, can we still hear or see the cars? the The highway's there, but there's no traffic. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go back go back over there and see if I can get to where the um where I can hear cars coming. Um the the guy says, "Oh, um be careful. The, the boundary's a little it, it's not very precise. It's not yeah, that's a good word for it. Um you might get thrown out under the road without meaning to. That happened to Steve. I mean, uh, I miss Steve. All right, so peace, Steve. Yeah. Uh are there are there like wrecked cars around here? Uh actually yeah, you do see a couple of wrecked cars. Okay, uh, then I'll go over to those and I'm like gonna start gathering uh bits of oil and like tire rubber mm-hmm. and just debris like that. Okay. Uh yep, yeah, no one stops you. Um you're just scavenging stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, I assume you're gathering components for something. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so the scavenger says, "Yeah, if you have anything, if you want more questions answered, I, I mean, I could trade." But um, uh, no, right, I think I'll yeah. take your advice. Really appreciate it. Okay. Well, um, mm-hmm. good, good picking. I guess. Yeah. If or or good trading if with the the bone man, I guess. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good picking. All right. All right. He he walks off. So. Um, you're still waiting for the other person to come back. Um, you could go in the direction that the guy, the, the other scavenger said to go to find the temple, whatever that is. Uh, do we want to wait here? We can go check the temple. I think let's go. Okay. Go All right, let's start wandering off towards the temple then. Okay. Elias, you gathered some little bits of things. Um, yeah. so, uh, you wander through, you do see more structures built from, you know, discarded materials. Uh, but then you see like a three story, um, for lack of a better term, uh, a temple. Um, and you realize that it is being built to look like a cross section of a highway, uh, and an underpass. Um, but there are little like, uh, altars and, um, set up on the side of the each road and on all each of these altars are bloodstained and have like bones on them as well. Um, Is there uh, anybody around that looks like they know what's what? Um, you actually do see, um, well, actually uh, at this point you can see several scavengers are talking to a man holding a staff. Uh, and as you get closer, because, you know, it's hard to see in this dim light, uh, you can see that he's car- has a bone necklace on him. Can, can um, you describe him? Like, what is his hair like? It's How wild. He dressed? Uh, he's wearing, uh, actually like, um, almost like a burlap or like a coarse cloth, plain robe, um, or mm-hmm. cloak, uh, uh he has a bone necklace with, a 
animal skulls on it. They look like bird and small mammal ones. Like uh, I have a dogs. question about the bone altars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are they human bones or animal bones? Um, you get closer. Give me a veteran furry porn artist check. Twenty-eight. Uh, you do not see any human remains. Um, okay. There, there, there's deer and canine almost. Um, and uh, that, yeah, that's all you can see. Um, okay. I mean, you, you haven't like it would take time to sort every single bone out, but those are the ones you see casually. But you don't. I feel like I feel like it would stand out if there was a human bone. Yeah. So there yeah, okay. let's go talk to let's go talk to Bone Man. Um, mm-hmm. so he's wearing a robe. He's got a, uh, a large staff, uh, which has a, um, several, uh, like wire, uh, crow feathers, you know, black feathers, um, a, uh, crow skull, uh, attached to it. Um, and, um, there's also several large claws, uh, which you, uh, Claire, you recognize those as actually like bear claws. Uh, nice. uh, yeah, uh, on the staff. Um, and yeah, uh, very much, you know, wise man slash wild man prophet kind of look to him. Um, uh, uh, hey, uh, I don't want to be presumptuous, but are you the bone man? Yes, <laughs> I am the bone man, and you are the pack mates of the desecrator. Yes, you unfortunately. Come to bargain for your for the curse to be lifted, as was foretold. And well, uh, the the muttering of the scavengers, like, oh, that's I'm here to bargain for two things. Mm-hmm. First is lift the curse, uh, <laughs> but then also I'm really attached to calamity. I feel like he's part of my pack, so uh, ah. if he could come with me when we leave, that would be ideal. Of course, um, yes, that that could be there. Um, first, you um, my the first of my prices, you must listen to my sermon, okay? Uh, so, um, he begins speaking. So, uh, uh, he basically has set it up so that under the there is a bridge, like it is set up as a cross section of an underpass. Um, but he set him up at the top point under the underpass as kind of like a pulpit, uh, where he preaches to everyone who sits at the bottom of the underpass. Um, so uh, he begins uh, preaching, and he preaches about, uh, let me again tell you, we have outsiders with us, and they must hear the story of our God uh, in order to uh, understand what they are asking. So he tells his story uh, of how he once uh, was a scholar and how he studied the past um, but then he began seeing the secret truth of the world um, and how uh, also he could begin to see the future and how everything was doomed to destruction unless uh, we were more, if we were, because we were so wasteful, we just, we, we, we threw away things and did not reuse them. And the ancients, they wasted nothing. Um, and so I realized we must become like they were and become more efficient and, uh, humble, um, and so, but I realized I did not have the power on my own. But mm-hmm. in my, uh, I w- went on a spirit quest, and in my spirit quest, I saw the truth that the old gods are not quite dead, and I found one of the oldest gods, uh, tens of th- over 10,000 years ago. There was an, uh, the, the ancient people worshiped what science calls the short-faced bear, Um, a god of bears, a god of uh, who is not just a predator, but an omnivore. He consumed all and wasted nothing. And so I prayed to the dead god. And it was not dead, but in hibernation. And through... Like a bear. Yeah, exactly. Like a bear, yes. Um, Hmm. And I began to pray to it. And through my faith, it began to awaken. But it was too weak to hunt on its own. But we, man, in its own ways, provided a bounty to it. Uh, the things that we kill and do not use, it uses. Um, and so I began gathering strength by gathering what we call callously roadkill. Um, 
And so uh, we pray to the God. Uh, we pray to our God, and it will give us bounty. It has provided this sanctuary, and it will provide more to us as we will uh, reuse all. So as uh, you know, as I have uh, recycled all waste, we have recycled a God, and uh, everyone is. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Yeah. I've heard a lot of personas in my time, and this one is pretty metal. So, um, so he goes on for a little bit, but that's sort of the, uh, the basic thing is that he is, uh, uh, built a new religion by finding a paleolithic, uh, uh, deity somehow and resurrecting it, uh, and reconsecrating it as a God of roadkill and scavengers. Uh, it sounds pretty anti-capitalist, so I'm pretty down with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> So Same. do any of you want to figure out any additional information about the God of Roadkill before uh, he uh, ends the sermon? Were there any I, other I'm, I'm, I'm actually in, more interested in do any of the, do any of the scavengers here have uh, like they possess a pair of scissors? Um, you look around. Yeah, you can see, buddy. Someone has like a bandolier of tools around their belt and one of them is a pair of scissors. <laughs> okay. I want to take some of our supplies and go over to that guy and say, yeah, uh, uh, friend, Mm -hmm. I'd like to trade for your scissors. What do you have? Say, uh, we have some, uh, we have some free meals here. Um, ready to eat. Good and healthy. All right. Um, you can roll yard bird to make a good trade. He wants all of it. How about how about I how, how about I invoke noble because I'm I'm trying to look out for my buddy and and we're running out of options. All right, yeah, that'll work. He'll he'll just trade for uh, some beef jerky though, so you'll have plenty to trade if you need something else from the scavengers. All right. So yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to take my scissors and okay. Go back to listening at the sermon. Okay. Um. um or, yeah. So I want to know, like, has anybody like? directly interacted with the god like do they hang out with him like does he show up on sundays like uh he does mention that people have been blessed by the god um and anointed by the god uh and the god's will has been carried forward by the pack who follows the the faithful um and that that they they are is the god's eyes and ears uh and they are holy Um, how does does he mean anointed um Um, that's vague so (laughs) So yeah. we yeah. we we fought what I can only assume is one of the gods creations earlier and I just I just want to apologize for that. But in my defense it did stab me. Um well I mean you can we you can say that I mean he's still preaching, so um so the sermon ends. Um and he, he beckons for you three to come up. Uh uh so now that you know my story. Uh, the story of this, of us, actually, of and of our God. Um, do not worry uh, about what you have done to survive, because you must protect your pack. Uh, that is, uh, and it is part of the curse. It is just a demonstration of our, our God's growing power. And you um, are, uh, so you wish to know what you can do to lift the curse. Yeah. Uh, the first is to um you I will take you to um the high the holiest place uh the, the where our god uh slumbers uh and you will face our god uh and it will he will it will judge you and if you are worthy then uh I will propose I will tell you what you can do to save your friend to end the curse I I have got to see this god. I I volunteer. <laughs> also, uh, Alan, you should probably come too so you can film it. Yeah. Of course. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, he he is quite eager for that. Um, you can all roll, let's see here. Do, 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 what was it? Uh, I forgot what the figure out people's motives are. Skill. Um, I guess connect. You can roll all roll connect to try and Okay. Actually, no. You can ask me. It would be secrets. Um, oh, secrecy. I yeah, I pass it no matter what it is. Yeah, yeah, with a five. Yeah. 
Secrecy is the like, no. weird stuff. Oof. Skill. Big old nose for us. Okay, so Claire, you realize, um, yeah, th- this this guy actually, it's actually reminds you of you know viral marketing in a way for a new religion. Um, That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it's like yeah. if he shows us his god, then we know about the god, and we'll tell people about the god, which I presume increases the god's power in some kind of feedback loop. Yeah. Also, God. One of the things that gods do is like punish curse people who uh sin against it but also forgive people who are uh show the proper um you know piety like uh, right. uh you know ask for forgiveness so um he he reminds you the god remember is not is still growing and it is it was formed from a short faced bear but it became more metamorphosized um so he takes you out um, uh, to actually the top of the uh, the temple where there is actually a highway on a bridge. Uh, and when you get up there, it actually looks a lot longer than it should be. Uh, it looks it stretches out to the horizon and back. Um, so this just being here is unnatural. Three uh, is anybody freaked out by that? I'm fine. With that. Uh, I need to. I yeah. need to do a thing about that. Okay. Uh, you defend the natural knowledge? Okay. Yep. Oh, critical success. All right, you're in a hard one. Oh, nice. Um, and you won't have to make another roll because you're you're bracing yourself for it. Um, so it says uh, all three of you, uh, 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 you must show some sort of sign of reverence and respect uh, to the god. And obviously, do not anger it. Do not provoke it. And certainly do not try to attack it, because even though it, it is quite strong enough to kill uh, a person uh, almost instantly, uh, as it, it has had to do in the past. So do not. And of course, even if you were to attack our, our god, you would not make out of here alive. Do you understand this? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, we're not here to start trouble. Okay. Um so um he gestures out to the road um and you begin hearing um the sound of bone uh scraping against uh asphalt um and after a moment uh something appears in the weak light of the moon um and you look in general uh, you can see what it is and what this title of the scenario is, the God of Roadkill. Mm. Um, and so Bridget, uh, Claire already rolled a crit on her first uh, unnatural, so she doesn't have to make another check for this. But you two, this is unnatural 10 because, yeah, you feel the presence of something uh, alien. An actual uh, god. Yeah. Okay. Um... Trying to think if I could defend with filmmaker, but probably not. No. So, uh, so that's natural defend with knowledge. Okay. Yep. Made it. Um, can I use my obsession to flip those? Um, because this is certainly learning something about the secret workings of the world. Yeah, I allow that. So yeah, you can both gain a hard notch uh, as you see this thing. Uh, so what is your sign of respect or reverence to the god of Roadkill? Um, um, you could bow, you could get on one knee, you could... Yeah, I was going to say, we should probably just kneel. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to think if I had something more clever, but yeah, yeah. not really. You can make an offering too if you wanted to. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I don't have. we don't have anything... You had a mm-hmm. you had still some beef jerky. <laughs> yeah, we could, make a, we could make a beef jerky offering. Yeah. Someone tells you um, to offer God beef jerky, say no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you do, um, and it it gets nearer to you. All of you kneel. Um, your your hearts are pounding in your chest. You're all sweating um, as, uh, and you can feel a bony claw uh, over you, and then just lightly touch you on each of your heads. Um, yeah. Uh, you get an, a brief impression of something uh, from a previous era. Um, something uh, of a, perhaps a, a, 
a snow covered windswept mountain, um, a cave, uh, an ancient people gazing upon it in reverence, uh, or a verdant forest of filled with creatures you've never seen before. Uh, something, uh, but it's gone so quickly. You can barely register it in your minds. Um, and then, uh, you blink and it's gone. Um, uh, the, the bone man is like, it is, uh, anointed you with the, it's uh, a glimpse of its, of its past. Uh, it is, it, it, this is very favorable. Um, I have foreseen, uh, what it wants. Um, Every night, every every full moon for a year, uh, bring an offering of a lamb to the highway. Um, leave it on, uh, uh, put it in the road. Uh, whatever happens to it, happens. Um, do this without fail every full moon for a year, and the curse shall be lifted. And as long as you do that, the cur- curse will not progress. Um, and for you, he points at you, Claire, um, if you <laughs> want your pack member back, uh, simply draw, depict it favorably, and spread its image. Okay. Alright. Uh, um, yeah. So, as something to trade mm-hmm. to um, get safe passage back, mm-hmm. can I draw, like, what the, the, the roadkill god showed me? Mm-hmm. And so yeah. they can just have that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, they will really like that. So, uh, draw, yeah, give me a veteran furry porn artist skill check. <laughs> that will never not. Uh, Honestly, yeah. this is this is probably the, the most useful skill we've ever had in any game. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> it's been a MVP skill for sure. Uh, although all of you had uh, good moments. Um, and yeah, uh, yeah, if you all agree to it. Um, and you explain it to Paul, he will definitely be willing to try anything. Uh, um, before, before we leave, um, yeah. I'm before we leave the presence of the, the crazy people. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, out of character, what ability do you use for being sneaky? Um, you could use secrecy, uh, pursuit, are, I think, was also, yeah, uh, pursuit, yeah. yeah. Pursuit would work. Uh, depends on like how you're being like sneaky. Like mm-hmm. if you're being like sleight of hand, uh, that'd probably be more secrecy. Uh, if you're mm-hmm. trying to like sneak by someone, that would probably be pursuit. Uh, I'd also allow fitness, depending if you're like you're trying to like parkour over a wall to get around. Mm-hmm. Um, All right. Lies, obviously, your deception. Um, so I want to. Um, I want to ask. Uh... Yardbird would work in certain circumstances. Yeah, I, I want to kind of mumble to since since he's focusing so much on Claire. I want to mumble to Alan mm-hmm. and say, um, "Get uh, find a find a time to get him worked up and distract and really distracted." The god? No. Oh, sorry. The bone man. Please. The bone man. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It's like I can't yeah. make a god angry before before we head back to the real world. While we're still with them, because I need to, I need a, I need a sample from him, and it's going to be, uh, I need, I need distraction. Um, talk about making a movie for the bone. <laughs> yeah, because cl- <laughs> clearly, like evangelism <laughs> is their thing. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'm looking for a, I'm looking for a chance to basically be behind the bone man. And mm-hmm. use these scissors to clip a clip of hair off of him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, I'll talk him up about how I want to make a movie called The Bone Man mm-hmm. about the most yeah. talented. Give me, give ever me uh, bone man me, uh, that has bone augments. Yeah, and <laughs> the deepest secrets <laughs> of the roadkill culture. Yeah, give me, give me a roll. Uh, on oh. filmmaker. Okay. Uh, can I flip that to 49? Yeah, 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 don't fuck it don't up. Flip it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you don't fuck up. Uh, that would have been really bad. Uh, <laughs> well, actually, that wouldn't have been bad until uh, Elias would have been caught. But yeah, Elias, That's you have fair. the opportunity. All right. So do I, did he, do I get any bonus on it because of he you succeeded try at that? It. Like, I mean, you're trying to cut somebody's okay. hair without them noticing. That's pretty hard <laughs> to do. 
Yeah. Uh, even if he has long hair, unkept hair. But like, I feel like if I just talk about movies and Star Trek enough, he'll zone out to the point where he right. won't even notice. I mean, that's why you get to try. Uh, <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, so um, so can I uh, can I invoke my um, my rage passion against human predators? Sure. Yeah. To if flip you, to flip that yeah. into a success. If you think this guy is a predator, then yeah. Uh, yeah, I do. Look what he did to our uh, to our friend. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, so you do that, um, and you manage to get some hair clippings. So, um, but Claire, you make the pack, you draw that. Uh, Calamity uh, just wanders in uh, and barks once. And then, Calamity! Yep. We've seen some shit today, haven't we, boy? Barks <laughs> again. Uh, and yeah, uh, and starts following you. And uh, later on, you realize you'll never have to put him on a leash. He will always uh, uh, obey you. Uh, We're best buds now. We're like this. Yep. <laughs> uh and <laughs> so um for bargaining for safe passage out, uh you can offer up the rest of this shit that you brought. Um so you don't have to Oh uh I I drew the thing. To oh get yeah, you drew the thing. Never mind. You don't even have to bargain with that stuff. Yeah. So mm-hmm. um you find a uh yourself in a, a storm drain, uh a storm tunnel, a storm drain tunnel, you know, like um and you walk out of it and you realize you're near the parking lot where you parked your car so or alan did no oh, that's convenient yeah weird how that works um mm-hmm. so um yeah if uh so elias what are you going to do to <laughs> fuck this up okay. uh i'm uh, well i'm uh this is yeah. this is a long-term thing okay uh, it's not an immediate thing mm-hmm. um well i mean i think we can tell you know, we can tell Paul what craziness we found and mm-hmm. what he can do to uh, to to get this to get this curse lifted if he mm-hmm. believes any of it. Um, and I think that's all fine. And I think we should pursue that. And on the side, I'm going to uh, I want to I want to try to 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 uh, privately cast a ritual using mm-hmm. the uh, the car bits and to the bone man bits mm-hmm. to put a curse on the bone man that will attract cars to him when he's near them and they're moving. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. If this was a campaign that would, we would see what would happen. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, you can give me a ritual magic check right now to see. Okay. You you're, you're pretty vengeful dude, aren't you? I mean, he screwed with our people. Well, yeah, but I'm the only one that got hurt, and I'm fine. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be, yeah, he would probably get hit by a car at some point. Uh, whether or not he dies, you don't know. Uh, and whether or not he blames, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that would that would take time, because I assume you're going to sure. wait at least yeah. a year for the, for the curse to end, um, for Paul's curse to end, because that's what he said. Um, to I, I guess I mean if we get the sense that the curse is powered by the Bone Man and depends on his goodwill and and help, you know yeah, what we, I mean? Yeah. Well, you don't know if the if it's the Bone Man or the Bone or the God of Roadkill that's powering right. the curse. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so we'll just be safe on this one and wait a year. Yeah. Right. Um. But yeah. Uh. The 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 the, the Bone Man the sca- the culture of the scavengers uh spreads. Uh, thanks to the internet uh, and some really neat art uh, being made of it, being posted to you know Twitter and other social media. Mm-hmm. Um, and, it's destroying uh, my soul, but you know what? Gore sells. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the and also a bunch of YouTube documentaries about the yeah scavenger or the or uh, it's creepy pasta right it, it's clearly mm. like a slender man sort of fictional video right yeah it's actually <laughs> yeah found footage it. yeah you know, it's like found foot like a marble hornet type yeah it becomes actually the next slender man uh the bone the the, the bone the man, bone right? man. The, the god of roadkill actually uh who goes by a bunch of different names uh it becomes actually a popular creepy pasta subject people start photoshopping it into other uh images it sounds like Classic. we have unwittingly upset the balance of power between the bone man and the queen of camelot <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe yeah, the Queen of Camelot, that was actually from the uh, failed Unknown Armies campaign, which was also set in Kansas City, where um, Caleb created a uh, NPC that had the avatar of the the true king, and she was like, uh, owned a furniture store. So, like, you'd go in there, and there would be, like, 
people who would like they had a round table and like you know uh uh the employees were knights technically mm-hmm. uh, and saber uh, is my favorite character <laughs> <laughs> exactly so uh that's the god of roadkill questions comments suggestions you guys like it uh, uh yeah. yeah i had a yeah. good time i think calamity was mvp <laughs> obviously the dog mm-hmm. is always mvp mm-hmm. the goodest yeah. boy mm-hmm. yep um this this was entirely inspired by that one image i saw uh from trevor at slimy swamp ghost uh on twitter uh and i was like "Ooh, that's a really cool image i should make a scenario out of it but i couldn't quite figure out how to delta greenify it but unknown mm-hmm. armies this is that that shit's made for unknown armies yeah uh, and <laughs> yeah there we go uh so uh, Shane, you want to plug anything for archery before we uh, end the uh, episode? <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah. Um, uh, I, I think you know we've got uh, we've got we've got the, uh, uh, the the new edition of the King in Yellow uh, mm-hmm. Chambers book that's that's uh, very uh, beautiful is is on the on the boat right now. We that cool. and, and the control group will both their houses uh, in a in a couple of weeks. So uh, in 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 mid mid July. I don't know awesome. when this is going to go, but but uh, but you can you'll be able to get those in your in your hands uh, uh, after people, that. Cool. Yeah, uh, people can follow you at, at Shane Ivy, or of course mm-hmm. also at uh, Delta Green. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, at uh, uh, Arc Stream LLC is mm-hmm. the uh, is the feed. If you don't want to hear me screeching into the void <laughs> about uh, how much I hate Donald Trump. <laughs> okay, uh, noted. Fair enough. Uh, and Bridget, uh, do you have anything you want to plug? Um, always please remember to follow at Cry Novel on Twitter. Um, we're getting very, very close to releasing our first episode of Cry Hunter's Record. It's got a lot of cool art in it. It's got a lot of good writing. It's got a lot of um, music, actually, that we commissioned for it that I think is going to be pretty tight. So um, if you like stuff like Night in the Woods or Supernatural or anything like that, um yeah it'll be cool um cool yeah very good um and burke you're you're just you know me um (laughs) when is this going up when do you think this will go up uh pretty soon anyways uh we'll we'll talk to you all next time and all right later that's yeah